Howdy, howdy everyone. Hello, hello. How's it going, boys and ladies? Boys and ladies. The wife is gone again, but not like for long term. She's just at work today. This is just the first day I haven't had some project immediately pressing between everything that I'm like, you know what? I have I have some me time today. Why don't I stream a little bit? So this is that. Peace stream? It's not going to be a peace stream. If I have anything to say about it, you animals. I kind of honestly I enjoy streaming. It's fun. And it's it's just been a while. So, yeah. I just want to get back to stream. Hi. How's everyone doing? Uh, also, like, posting stuff to the second channel. Uh, just because, like, I, I throw an editor. Um, just, you know... A, a live stream of ridiculousness and he has fun with it so yeah yeah enjoy it but if my wife was home i wouldn't be streaming but she's at work so therefore i'm here what are we covering well the one thing i definitely want to get to hold on my head's really big right now the one thing i definitely want to get to is there's a new Greylock episode um that's priority but other than that that's just 30 minutes we can do whatever you want if there's anything if there's anything pressing that's out yeah, my wife's at work. I make her work. Um, cause I, um, yeah, I just, she, she needs to earn her keep around here. Who's the spooky man on the spooky chair? That is a spooky lady for your information. That is Skella. Uh, oh geez. Know of her. Uh, she's normally wearing the I am Knuff hoodie. Um, but I don't know where that hoodie's at right now. Cause I wore it the other day. <laughs> so she's naked, but she has a cowboy hat. So it's fine. Uh, she needs to pay for the Mothman merch. She does. She does. She the the Mothman budget in this house is way too high. Eat me out of house and home, just like a moth. Actually, funny enough, I did the the time I did pee with the door open was during Greylock, wasn't it? Oh, Matt, what's good? I just saw Matt Reeves go by. So for those who don't know, Greylock's made by Rob Gavigan a YouTube OG and that guy who just went by and chat, Matt Reeves, uh, the two of them made Greylock. And I mean, if you've seen my video, hold on, let me make myself a little smaller. If you've seen my video, which is probably here it is. Yeah. This one where I talk about, I spend the majority of the video talking about Greylock, but I also talk about urban spook. Cause I want to do more than just a normal, like ARG analysis. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have seen it. If you're over here on the second channel, it did pretty good. Um, but yeah, talk about in that video how it's the two of them uh, that have made it. So cool, Matt. Glad you're here. Glad you're here, my guy. Excited to see the new episode. Uh, we could lead with that. We could also watch a couple shorter things before we do that. Wait for some more people again. Oh, I want to ask you guys. Do you think I should tweet the link to the stream? Because I almost feel like there's no need to involve Twitter people. But every time I do tweet it, more people show up. So I don't know. Do we want them here is the question. Fine. Okay, I see mostly yes. Here's the real question. <clears throat> If I turn on super chats, will you all behave and not just spam super chats the whole time? Because I feel bad about not reading them and also, um, not give outrageous money. You can't, you won't behave. Okay. Then I'm not turning it on. Simple. Solves that. All right, I sent the tweet. So I'll give him a few minutes. All right. Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rob reacted to the boiled one. How long is that series? Dr. Nowhere, yeah. Oh, if it's this short. That we can absolutely watch. Oh, hold on, you all can't see the screen's too big. Um, 
It's just six videos, and most of them are under a minute. One of them's ten minutes, better than that. Yeah, we can definitely do that. For sure. Because uh, I haven't seen that yet either. Can you watch the new Vita Carnus? Oh, there's new Vita Carnus. I didn't know that. Man in the suit, Dr. Nowhere, Angel Hair. I've heard people talk about Angel Hair. Creepcast new episode date, uh, Saturday or Sunday. Um, probably Saturday, because it's a shorter one this week. It's a funny one, but it's a shorter one. Um, so, I think Saturday. I think that's the current game plan. Uh, okay, let's... All right, I'll turn on super chats, but you get you guys get one chance at this, okay? I have to go to studio, switch account, blah, blah, blah. YouTube studio. And then I go there. Is there new Walton files? It looks like there's new Walton files. If there is, we're watching that for sure. Okay, hold on. Um... Uh, permissions community how do i even i'm so bad at using this stuff uh wait where do i earn here we go i think there we go okay okay should now be on Behave yourself. All right, let's start with, um, hello, everybody. We've already got this pulled up. Let's do that. Actually, let me check and see if there's new, um, uh, Walton files. Cause if there is, that will tie in well to the last stream. It seems there is. Yep. All right, well, it's one minute. We have to start with that. Duh. Absolutely. Skibbity Toilet Series is an Okay, so friend of the channel, Kane Pixels, who you all may know from the back rooms, but I know as a thorn in my side, uh, just sent me this video. And I, I only assume that he's in chat somewhere. And uh, he, he made this a while back and was waiting for me to start a stream before he sends it. Because the timing's too perfect otherwise. Let me go to that DM. Never meet your heroes, kids. Skibbity Toilet Series. Stop. Oh, I have it playing out of the wrong speaker. Hold on. Let me fix that. There we go. Series isn't a net. Okay. He sent it, and it's a whole three pixels. Analogy to modern media. Stop. <laughs> okay. All right. This is what this is what Kane, the backrooms creator, has been doing with his time. Skibbity Toilet series is an analogy to modern media versus traditional media. 
First, the skibbity toilets are a criticism to modern social media platforms and trends, like TikTok or Instagram, where the toilets infected humans to become a mindless toilets, on how modern social media has influenced people in doing mindless trends or dances. Even the song that the toilets play sing are song genres commonly found in those platforms. Skibbity bop is even used on TikTok. As the camera, speaker, TV heads are compared to traditional analog media trying to stop the toilets. They are often depicting having more self-awareness than the toilets do have. Even the protagonist POV in majority of the videos is often on their side. One of the main songs they often play is Everybody Wants to Rule the World, which is an 80s song, a true classic. You can also conclude that the cameraman is supposed to represent us, witnessing the struggle of humanity with technological differences. It's kind of ironic if this analogy was true, but also proves the point in Skibidi Toilet success and the concern with the influence modern social... that to the side so all my discord messages are in there and then i'll go back on display catch all right thank you kane pixels creator of the back rooms you know what's sad is halfway through that i thought if i was to talk about skivity toilet this is probably <laughs> Some stupid stuff I would say about it. <laughs> is that all I am? Is that what it sounds like to be you? To hear me on the other side of this black mirror we call a computer screen? <sighs> okay. Well, that ruined my day. <sighs> well, oh, look, we got some super chats. Um, a hundred dollars. Good Lord, man. We don't need to do that. Okay. Kevacat said all black clothing to comfort Wendy. That's so true. A hundred dollars from scuff. How much do I have to give for the giants video? Iceberg boy. I think a hundred's enough. I do plan on doing a giants video eventually. I just want to time it right. Cause I know it'll be a lot. Um, thank you very much, Scuff. You please don't do that again, but thank you very much. I appreciate it. Robert, play I Am Bread, Good Sire. Isn't that a video game? Thank you for the 10. Ian, thank you for the 20. Hi, Wendy. Caught a stream. Start streaming again because of your content and even have a segment called Creator Crib. But that's awesome, Ian. I'm happy to hear that. Good luck in that, man. Celeste, I've been a fan for a while, but I've never caught a stream before. Want to give a small donation, say thanks, love your work, keep it the good work, God bless. Thank you, Celeste, it means a lot, thank you. Losing my job, here's all my money, stop. <laughs> Don't give me any money, I will refund it. <laughs> Do not read this chat, not even in your head, too late. Sorry, Logan. Um, see, this is why you shouldn't donate to me, because I'll probably miss some. Julie thought for half a second that Kane had deep faked Wendy's face to lip sync it right, too. He would, knowing that guy. He's evil. Uh, love your content. Would you be willing to check out a series called White Door Opened? Maybe. I actually haven't heard of that one before. Iceberg Boy, are you going to play Lethal Company again? Yes. Uh, I want to make a lore video on it after some content updates have happened since Pyro's video on it. Um, I already have a thumbnail made, actually, because I was going to do it before Pyro, but then Pyro put his video out. Uh, but yeah, I will closer to when I want to make that video. You're too nice for this broken world. Thank you, Vito. <laughs> Sitting in class watching you instead of doing my homework. Uh, I agree that this is more important, Steve, man. Love to use a Maka video. You ever thought about doing videos about other... Yes, I would love to do more. One. Uh, Gio was actually... Gio, Gio, however you pronounce it, was actually... Um, one I was considering doing instead of Uzumaki. But then I decided Uzumaki is more popular. I'll go with it. But yeah, Gio is definitely the grossest, I think, out of all his works. At least out of all his long works. You're for a treat for the new Greylock video. I can't wait. I'm glad, I'm glad you all like the Edo video. It means a lot. It's not doing that well. I knew it wouldn't because I was uploading it on Easter. But I think in the long run, people will like it. So I appreciate that. Glad to be part of a live stream when I'm working. Binging. 
Sorry to hear that, but thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Ted's Caving Journal. Good name. See those being inspired me. Make Ted the Caver found footage that you could watch. Inspired by Creepcast. Wow. That's awesome. That's really cool. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Hence the name Ted's Caving Journal. Yeah, that sounds dope, man. You ever read the Masterson Chronicles? I think you would like it. I have not. Uh, but I think I've heard people talk about that. 1 to 10, how comfy is the new Iceberg Boy beanie? It's actually very comfy. It's very nice. I put it on because I didn't want to comb my hair this morning. Um, that does feel pretty comfy. Cruelty-free bun bun. Thank you for the five. Heard of the YouTuber user IPC, the funniest ARG ever, unless the guy's actually mentally ill. Dirk Tom Pyro have made videos about him. He eats candles and has your... Oh, oh, yes. I've, I've heard about this guy before. I saw Tom talk about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard of that. Check out angel hair. Your, is your... Mo Mouse, is your icon a picture of me in a maid dress? And like, is that a maid dress? Is that or like some kind of headband? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to know. Anyway, you should check out angel hair. Okay, thank you. Live goon session. Correct. I have seen I Saw the Devil. I, I watched it way back. I think I liked it, but I was young. I know Old Gods of Appalachia. Old Gods of Appalachia is great. It's right up my alley. Um, yeah, it's a great podcast for those who don't know. You should check it out. First time catching a windy stream. My boyfriend watches your vids. Oh, well, hello to you too. Appreciate it. Mr. Goon, have you heard of a series called Angel Hair? Uh, yeah, okay, fine. I'll check out. We'll see how long Angel Hair is. I think Shuichi and Kyrie bested the god by facing each other and closing their eyes at the end. Can we also have a hint for the next creep cast? Um, yeah, I, I think there, that's a more optimistic reading of it, that they win in the end. But um, I'll, I'll give you this. I think they win as much as you can possibly win against that. Sure. Uh, and hint for the next creep cast. It's one you all have been asking for in comments. Are you proud of me, Dad? Uh, yes, Grimville. Have you ever seen Boys Vert? Uh, I've actually meant to watch Boys Vert and haven't yet. We might. We'll see how long I'm streaming today. Making a video on Berserk. Uh, I've got to read it first. Uh, but I love the anime a lot, so I'd be down to. Love your content. Any idea when the next creep cast vid will be about? Well, it'll be, we've already recorded it, so I know exactly what it's about. Um, but yeah, something that's been suggested. Something that I think a lot of people thought was really cool, but we found not cool. I think it'll be a good episode. Love your content. Just watched the latest Weird Bible and was emotional every time of Easter story. I appreciate that. Thank you. Have you ever considered a video on Attack on Titan or Evangelion? I've considered Attack on Titan. I actually uh, haven't watched Evangelion yet. I know that's like a cardinal sin or whatever, but I just don't watch a lot of anime. Thoughts on Metro franchise. Love it. Love it a lot. Don't like it as much as Stalker, but um, gosh, Metro's good. Love your content, Vintage 8. I've watched a Vintage 8 on here. I watched the Tangy Virus one. It was good. I'd like to watch more of theirs. First time I caught you live. When's the next Creepcast? Saturday, Sunday, this weekend. That's a... Glad to have a stream revisit. Appreciate that, Alexander. Hey, Wendy, love everything. Who's going to win at WrestleMania? I don't watch wrestling at all, but Roman Reigns sounds like a cool name, so we'll say that. I'm so grateful that you've done for me. Paired also last in your video. Oh, that means a lot, Eden. Thank you. Nuclear, hey, what's good, man? A little donation I can spare for today. I had surgery on my wrist recently, so I'm not to give as much as I normally want. Keep up the Nuclear, you do not need to give me money, bro. You make those cool uh 3d uh the, the the 3d art on twitter and stuff you don't need to give me money bro it's okay but i appreciate it get get better man sorry if you've already answered do you know who rpg games fear and hunger yeah um who was it that made a video super eye patch wolf i heard about it through super eye patch wolf and then i think if i i'm pretty sure pyro's making a fear and hunger 2 video soon um so that'll be cool but no i haven't checked it out myself Hey, what a good, oh, if you like EO, ah, there's a game called Spirit Hunter Deathmark. I saw someone talking about that, yeah, that's similar to a lot of his works. Faith, but Japanese, more narrative driven. Uh, yeah, that sounds up my alley. It always keeps me company since I work on my love. Oh, I appreciate that, little Wes. Thank you. Glad you, glad you like the podcast. Wendell Goon, very true. Jaden with 50. Do not have to do that, my man. I appreciate it, though. Love your vids and your podcast. My girlfriend and I watch your stuff while we work and hang out. Easily my favorite content creator. Thank you, Jaden. That means a lot. 
21 pilots lore video i know there's a lot of lore but honestly i, I can't do it i've gone back i used to be really into 21 pilots as a kid but i've gone back and tried to listen to some of it now and i don't know what was wrong with me um <laughs> i'm sorry uh you have nothing else to watch after Greylock. just have three oh okay it's already on ted we might check that out ted thank you biohazard thank you for the 20 did your windy wife leave you to fend for yourself again yeah she left me cold and alone have you heard about spencer lackey series i think i saw something about it but i don't i'm not familiar with any details blood meridian that's awesome cool i hope that goes well break simon very cool awesome Cool, Mr. F uh, Mr. Fluster Cluck. Thank you very much. All right, and I told you all to stop with the chat, so I'm turning them off now. Uh, so I'll read whatever's left, but I don't want to be here reading chats all day. Um, love the Uzumaki video. Junji Ito is my absolute favorite. I would love to hear more of your thoughts on the Gospel of Judas, you know, where he was best used with JC. Yeah, uh, Gospel of Judas is biblical fan fiction, un unlike the other books of the Bible. There's no, you know, nothing to reaffirm its legitimacy at all uh so i just don't take it to mean anything like i said biblical fan fiction where's the restroom asmr if you're lucky never i am bread will make you angry and we will laugh love the channel oh it's that yeah it's that game it's like the um, that game where you have to climb up stuff where the whole gimmick is how bad it is or, or like how hard it is to control yeah yeah september 23rd live streaming that does sound pretty cool. We might check that out. Everyone, I mean, there's so many horror things out there. Fear and Hunger Stream win. I don't know. Maybe eventually. Another 20 from Scuffed. Wow, man, you really don't do that. Love your content. You've helped me get back in touch with God when I was struggling with faith, and that's worth all the money in the world. That means a lot, Scuffed. Thank you. But seriously, you don't have to do that, but thank you. Want to say I've never seen someone cry like I do at the mere mention of even basic biblical concepts. It makes my feelings feel valid. Thank you. Happy to hear, man. Absolutely love your videos about Christ. Have you ever seen Cliff Nettle and his TV shows where he goes to campuses? Yeah, I've seen it. He does pretty good stuff. Um, a lot of his doctrine's pretty sound, I think. I like Cliff. I was curious if you've seen Midwest Angelica. Uh, I have not seen it. Again, people have suggested it. Okay, that's all the super chats. Now we can watch something. I think there's enough people here. Why are people talking about Skibbity Toilet? Because of what Kane Pixels did, of course. All right. Now... Let's start, let's start with this, just so we're caught up in all the, uh, the Walton Files lore. All right. Nothing here. Uh, desktop audio should be where it needs to be. From the filming studio magic of Illinois, Chicago. Wonderland! Starring Maria Itadora, Stephen Salvatore, Ivy Neal, and Greg the Dog as the McKinnis family. Wonderland is filmed in front of a live studio audience. That's uh, Sophie. Yeah. So this is what Sophie's watching on TV. Sophie's the daughter of uh, Rosemary and Jack. Interesting. Okay. He's cooking something. We'll see. Uh, all right. Let's see. What have we got now? <laughs> I was like, oh, it's this Greylock stream, and it's my Greylock stream. I hate myself. Okay. All right, I think there's enough people in here. We can go ahead and get to the meat of the show, and then we'll see where we want to go after that. Cool. All right, so as far as I know, tape 12 is the only thing I haven't seen. Yeah, because I covered through tape 11 in the video, and the tape 12. Oh, yeah, there's community post a lot. This was a preview for tape 12 and then waking your subconscious. Okay. From Simeodyne, our favorite company. All right, here we go. I made, I made a video about it, right? So I have everything written down somewhere in this office, office, 
of like all the character details and stuff like that but i may forget for a minute like oh yeah that character is related to that character but it'll it normally comes back to me as i'm watching so without further ado are you guys ready to get in to tape 12 i'm so excited i've i've been saving myself for the live stream but i've wanted to watch it so bad and i've been able to stream because i've been you know trying to get video uploads and podcasts left and right um but i'm excited let's go okay Who's grain they lock? Let's go. All right. You are now prepared to see new shadows in your home. Great. <laughs> Immediately out of the gate. What is the, uh, what's the name for the, the, cause there's that machine that was through the military that makes your thoughts a reality, right? That I theorized was related to whatever was going on inside of the mountain, the old being that crashed into the earth, the meteor, right? What did they call those? The thought, thought forms. That's it. Yeah. The thought form manifester. That's it. See, I told you it comes back to me. Um, all right. This video cassette is intended for the use of Charlotte Jean Melgren. Melgren's familiar. Uh, someone tell me who Melgren is. Uh, the the name uh, Melgren's the cop, right? The one who's been like hunting all this down. And his name, right? Unless I'm going, cr hold on. We're gonna do the lame thing where I have to. Talk. No, it wasn't this one. It was this one at the very end when the star is talking to him. It's loud. Okay, grow up. No, I'm turning it down. Okay. Is that better? Is that better for your ears? Okay. Jim Melgren is the cop. So I imagine Charlotte Melgren is the wife, maybe, perhaps, possibly. Okay. Are there English subtitles? No. So therefore, we don't care. All right, here we go. Are you ready, children? Let's go. Video tape is strictly prohibited. If you are in possession of this tape, you are not intended viewer. You are required to stop this tape. Bring it to superior officer, FBI, find up for enhanced confidentiality. This video cassette has been modified so that it will not operate as intended on consumer grade video cassette recorders and must be played on specialized military sanctioned hardware. Interesting. And of course, made by Simeodyne. 93, January 2nd. I'm not going to try to remember the timeline, but yeah. I imagine this is like more recent events in the story. Okay, hold on, hold on. What? <laughs> no. Already. So it's another Simeodyne video. Participation in this part of the TF system, which thought form system, maybe, may result in the viewer achieving a heightened sensory state. This can cause the viewer to experience unexpected visual and auditory occurrences which have no discernible source. So, thought forms, I imagine. These occurrences may include, but are not limited to, transient moving shapes, unsettling shadow formations, vocal phenomena such as whispering, unidentifiable music that sounds distant or muffled, a feeling of a separate presence even while alone. Okay, so, yeah. Pretty standard at this point. Uh, check out the health and safety section. Yep. You will need this. A thought form system neurovisor headset. We got one of those. This guy right here. Uh, and you all might as well be a thought form because you're not real, but I'm talking to you anyway. And a word book and writing utensil. You know what? We're going to go all out. Okay. We're going to, if there's like stuff to write down. And things like that, I'm gonna play. Uh, here, we'll do this page, the page that says I can weed from the McKamey Manor video, because I use all my notebooks. Uh, waste not, want not. Okay. All right, we're good. Good to go.
welcome to Waking Your Subconscious. Greetings, and welcome to the second video program in the Preconditional Protocols and Orientation video system for Unit 13, TF2, Waking Your Subconscious. This video cassette has been specially designed to utilize powerful psychological exercises. I'm making a uh, theory, that's the word for it. I'm making a theory right now that this tape is the tape that would have been shown to people like the little girl in, I think it was part nine, who said she went to the doctor's place or whatever, like doctor-esque thing she described, and that after that experience, a thought form showed up in her house and killed her, right? I imagine this is the kind of tape they would play for her. Along with cutting edge technology and your own brain's Could neuroplasticity wrong, to allow unit 13 to access the deepest energy potential of yes, your incredible minds. This yeah. will be required to increase the likelihood of prime form cognogenesis. Before we begin, let's go over the required checklist to be sure you have everything in order so that we won't end up with any negative or unexpected outcomes okay. from this program. Right, First on the checklist, ensure that you are alone and will not be disturbed for the entire duration of this program. So I am alone in that there's no humans in the house. There's two dogs outside that may cause havoc. Um, you guys aren't real, but you're definitely going to bother me. So, I've, I've got like half of the first point, right. It's critical that you do not become distracted, as working with the brain in such a way is a very delicate process. Okay. Second, turn off all light sources, except for your television or monitor that you are using for if this I, program. Okay, if I turn off all light sources, it looks like... This. Is this an enjoyable stream? Is this an engaging experience for you all? No, it's not. So I have to turn. What happens if I just turn the small one on? It looks like I'm in like an interrogation. It doesn't look good either. Keep them off. What? So you can't see my face. <sighs> okay. What about the interrogation light? Can I, should I just leave the interrogation light on? Okay, fine. I can change the tone of it, too. There's, like, different... I forget where the button is. You can make the bright... I think this is all the way bright. Now it actually goes brighter. Uh, but there's different... Shades. That's a good one. There's our... Here, I'll make it a little bit dimmer. Set the mood. Okay. There. It's what you get. Looks like I'm peeping through the sunlights in a Mexico episode of Breaking Bad. Okay. All right. So we got to kind of. It's close enough. This aids tremendously in your brain's ability to focus, but it also can make you feel vulnerable or frightened, which are beneficial to this program oh, achieving the desired results. It's beneficial to be scared. Ideally, you would wait until nightfall to complete this part of the program. I'm not doing that. Third, ensure that your volume is turned up to a level where no outside or ambient noise is able to leak through your headset. I would, but the this imaginary people in chat focus, will get mad. But so, it also so. aids in those feelings of fear and vulnerability, which are where our deepest and most complex solves are rooted. Fourth, have your workbook open to the TF2 section and have your writing utensil nearby, as some exercises will require you to write. However, if for any reason you do not have your workbook, simply grab a regular notebook or some sheets of paper, and write your name and TF2 at the top of each sheet you use. Okay. You will need to hand those into your program liaison, hold on, hold on, and they will take care of transferring- Pause. I need to write my name? And TF2, have your workbook. Please use a piece of paper and label it with TF2 and your name at the top. Okay. Man, I've scribbled on a lot of pages in the back of this. Okay. I need to write my name. We're going to do it. We're going to do it right. 
We're going to do whatever the doctor's orders are. Okay, so right. Windagoon. I'll write my actual name, Isaiah. Um, workbook. T. F. Two. I. Okay. All right. I've labeled it with such. I just heard my dog bark. Just let me make sure he's not like threatening a neighbor or something. Hold on. I'm going to have to lock him up. He can't be trusted. Okay. Y'all like that <clears throat> Hassan stream, XQC stream, woo. Um, yeah, we got, my wife and I got a little corgi puppy for Christmas. So he's nine months now, nine, eight, nine, ten months, something like that. And he is uh, a terror. So. Oh, hi, Stanley. Thank you for taking charge of my chat. Appreciate it. Okay. Bring the data from there. Once all of these conditions have been met, you're ready to continue to the next part. Now is the time to make sure that your Neurovisor headset is correctly equipped and connected. If you need any assistance, or are looking to head ready to continue to the next part. Now is the time to make sure that your Neurovisor headset is correctly equipped and connected. If you need any assistance, or are looking for more information regarding the Neurovisor, be sure to check the section titled Equipment and Connection in your Unit 13 yeah, program so handbook. This will be your final opportunity to pause playback for the rest of this tape. Pausing after this point will cause a disruption, which could carbonize your fucking skull. Interrupt the data being collected which by your what? headset. Which could what? Carbonize your fucking skull. Interrupt. Carve the something something what? It will cause a disruption, which could carbonize your fucking skull. Interrupt the data being a disruption, which could carbonize your fucking skull. Interrupt the data being collected by your headset. Your screen is about to gradually turn red. Once it is completely red, the program has officially begun, and the point of no return has been crossed. You have 10 seconds. Oh, all right. <clears throat> Here we go. Carbonize. Thank you, Matt. So I'm going to try to not pause it for the video, for the first playthrough. All right. <clears throat> Induction. Unlocking the gateway to the deeper corridors of your psyche. All for right. a sensitivity warning. Our first section induction contains bright flickering. If you have a photosensitivity disorder, it is have... best that you do not look at your screen, if you close or shield your eyes, a... and just listen. Once the tone in your headset changes, it will be safe to look at your screen again. Induction will begin in so five close seconds. close your eyes if you have epilepsy. For the rest of us, time to hurt our brain. Beginning induction. Please stare at your screen for 30 seconds. Okay. The epilepsy machine. Here we go. <laughs> 30 seconds is a long time to just. Induction complete. Okay. You can look again, children. Uh. 
Oh, my head hurts. Cool, we did that. I see that. I see whatever you are standing back here. I see you with your long fingers. I don't like it. Section two, priming. Prepare your mind for enhanced neuroplastic realignment. Maybe my parents were right. Maybe the devil does. Five separate get to sets of words. Like each set will contain six words. Okay. For each set, you will have ten seconds to choose the one word out of the six that you feel doesn't fit with the others, and write it down in your workbook or on an appropriately labeled okay. piece of paper. If you do not have your workbook, simply write the numbers 1 through 5 vertically on your paper and place your answers beside each okay. corresponding number. Now, let's begin. So I write the one that doesn't fit. Okay. Chair, table, couch, rope, bed, mirror. Rope. Okay. I don't like whatever pokey hands back there is doing. Set two. Brain, heart, blood, lung, liver, kidney. I mean, they're all parts of the body, and blood is technically an organ, but it's not a solid organ. So I'm gonna say blood. Okay, I said I wouldn't. Okay, terrified, screaming, running, followed, hiding, visible. Visible, I think? That thing back there is getting more clear out like it. Right, visible. Stop. Love contours her flow. Okay, whatever. Mutilated, disfigured, mangled, butchered, dismembered, improved. Improved. Okay, I said I wouldn't pause it for the first playthrough. We'll go back and read all the hidden messages after, but I'm I'm experiencing it right now. Morph transform mute. <laughs> me i'm different <laughs> i'm not one of those things <laughs> i don't morph for transform i hope you okay priming right. complete that was a cave of something unauthorized alterations detected <laughs> what's going on i don't oh, i want to pause it pause it's my safe space Testing the way that you perceive and respond to certain stimuli. I don't want to respond to anything. Variation of the Stroop test, which will measure multiple facets of your reaction to congruent and incongruent stimuli, okay. while also examining how you deal with high stress, high anxiety situations. You will be shown a series home. of faces with emotional expressions, and the word for each emotion written on each face. The word could match the expression, like the word happy on a smiling face, or they might not Eyes. match, like the word angry appearing on a sad face. Okay. Say only the expression that's happening? You are about to begin the first testing phase of this section. This will be the easiest phase, with each subsequent phase becoming more and more difficult. Look directly at your screen and state your Okay, so I say what loud. the face phase is, not what the word is, seconds. correct? What? No, got right, right, correct. I say what the face is actually doing, not what the word is. Please state the word. Okay, written on the face and discard the actual expression. Okay. Neutral. Happy. Sad. Angry. Scared. Neutral. State the word written on each face and disregard the expression. Okay. Sad, happy, neutral, scared, happy, scared. State the expression on each face. Now I disregard the word, okay, All right. Angry, happy, neutral, scared. It's, it's, uh, neutral, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Please state the expression, disregard the word, okay? Neutral, happy, sad, angry, happy, neutral, angry, neutral, scared, happy, neutral, neutral, scared, happy, I don't... We just hard cut to a house. I saw that. I don't like that. What on earth?
This has got to be during the, the things that came out of the mountain, right? Like when they were terrorizing everyone. You don't like it? How do you think I feel? Great, I love the detail. I love like the level of attention that goes to everything, making its own logo, all the designs and sets, like it's all it's all very well done. Great, great production for a YouTube ARG. It's insane. Makes me jealous, honestly. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> yes, hello. This is Troy with Evervigil Security. Am I speaking with Charlotte Melgren? Uh, it's gotta be uh, Jim's wife, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. Maybe We're daughter. Maybe daughter. But. Uh, Ms. Melgren, we've detected some unusual activity at Forever Friends Kennels. Our system alerted us that Kennel Door 1 was open and then closed unexpectedly, followed by a power outage. Is it correct that your primary residence is the first unit at Forever Friends? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but... Okay, okay, so I'm not the one who got the security system. It was my dad. So I don't know if there's some, okay. like, fixes daughter. or whatever, but yeah, you guys have called me in the Jim's middle daughter. of the night, like, five times in the past couple of weeks, and it's all turned out to be false alarms. Every time. I, I'm so sorry about that, ma'am. I, I, I can take a look into why that might be happening if you'd like, uh, but first, I need to be sure that you're in a safe situation. Are you currently alone? Yeah. It's just me. But I'm looking out the window right now, and everything seems fine. I mean, the power's out, but it literally goes out all the time over there, so I'm just going to go flip the breaker. Uh, Ms. Morgan, we strongly advise against going outside or into the kennels, especially with the power outage. We can call out a police officer dispatched, and they can make wait, sure wait, it's wait, safe wait, before wait, you... Wait, hold on. Is, is there any way we don't have to do that? I have to be up at six, and the last time it took them over an hour to get here for nothing, please. Ma'am. Like I said, this has happened a ton of times, and plus the dogs aren't even barking. If someone was in there, they'd be going crazy by now. Ma'am, I could get in a lot of trouble oh, if anything dead. happened, and I didn't call anyone. It's company policy. How about this? I'll keep you on the phone while I go, okay? I'll switch to my cordless and everything. If anything happens at all, you can call the police. Miss Melgren, uh, people Ms. have Melgren. been exploding all over town. Grab my flashlight. Please. I just, I, I have a lot going on tomorrow, and I really just want to get back to sleep. I, uh, yeah, she's, well. <laughs> she's super uh, dead. Just, uh, let me at least check <laughs> yeah, tonight. Yeah, she's infinitely sure dead. Yeah. Okay first, all right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Go for it. Okay. Let me see here. Yeah, it's playback error, because we saw it, I saw it, I can't go back and rewind because I'm sticking with the lore, but in, like, from the left building to the right, you saw something cross over really quick. Oh, so I won't um, okay, I'm getting an error, it's not letting me review it. Well, I, I can just head over really quick, like, real quick. Have we seen before the thought well, forms can manipulate There's tech? no motion alert in tonight's vlog, so, <sighs> okay, just please be quick and safe. Thank you. Seriously? I'm gonna go throw some clothes on and, um, you know, grab the cordless, okay? Uh-oh, bad decision, yeah, Charlotte. Right. Yep. Oh, look into the false alarms you mentioned and see if I can figure out what's going on with that. Okay, be right back. I love all this being set up just for the series. It looks really good. Okay, on the cordless. Got my flashlight. Still there? Um, yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, uh, heading up. Yo, the on the roof! Right across to the kennel. <laughs> Did okay. you see that? Yo! Bro, tell her! You're on the phone with her! 
Be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> leave, 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 leave. He's not saying anything. I know he's in disbelief, but. The power is definitely out. Okay, I'm just gonna go check on the Please, 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 please. But everything seems fine. I'm I'm really not sure this is a good idea, Ms. Mulgrave. <laughs> that is an understatement. You saw a flesh man. Thing of your home. On that you, motion alarm. What do you mean wrong? Honestly, I'm I'm not sure exactly what I'm looking at here. It seems like the camera's glitched out or something. But the previous calls you've been getting, they they weren't false alarms. Yeah, again, I'm not sure what's going on here, but uh, something's been stalking around your property for a while now. I, I'm not sure how the previous people who called you didn't notice. Okay, something like what, an animal or? No, no, well, I, I don't know actually. I just, listen, I, Man, I just think you should go back to your house. there's a 12 foot tall amalgamation please. of flesh and sin okay. Okay, in yeah, front you, of those you dogs' kennels. Sure the you don't own okay? dogs anymore, he owns dogs right now. <laughs> you okay, need to leave. thank you. I'm gonna try to look over tonight's footage again, just in case it's decided to work. Okay. Hi, babies. Hi, Mama. It's... Um... What's wrong? Um... I don't... know. You okay, you okay buddy? Oh. Charlotte? What's going on? The dogs aren't moving. They're all just... standing... here. Well, it's late, so <laughs> maybe they're just tired or something. No. Uh, but let's just get no, you back. Not it. They're just standing here, not moving. Like, at all. Like, not even their eyes. It, it's like... Oh my god, it, it's like they're fucking dead, oh, but they're fuck. not. What the fuck? What? What? Miss Melgren, you need to get out of there and return to your house immediately. I'm sending your information to the police right now. What's going on? Get the hell out of the kennel! Okay. Now! Fuck! Fuck, I'm leaving! What was that? Are you okay? Charlotte! Charlotte, are you okay? It, it just... It, it ripped my flashlight. Charlotte? It, it ripped my flashlight. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Something... Something ripped it out of my hand. I can't... I can't see anything. Please. Please fucking help me. Please. Please. Something's in here. Wait. Okay, Charlotte, I've sent your information to the North Adams PD, okay? They responded that an officer will be there in three minutes. Uh, you think you can find your way out? <laughs> Charlotte, listen, you need to try your best to be calm and just listen to me, okay? Can you find your way out? I'm trying. 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 I'
Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Stay right where you are. Keep your back against the wall. All right, the officer's just down the road right now. You're going to be okay. Now, now listen, I'm going to stop talking so we can be completely quiet, but no, I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere until you're safe. Thank you. Thank you. The voice I'm acting sorry. is stellar. I'm so sorry. I should have listened to you. It's, it's all okay. We're going to get you out of there. Now, no more talking. <laughs> I think my skin is moving. And an important test. This test is made up of five statements. You will check true or false beside the corresponding number for each statement in your workbook. If you do not have your workbook, simply write 1 through 5 vertically on a piece of paper, and write T or F beside each number. You will have 5 seconds to respond to each statement. Your test begins now. T or F, right? Statement okay. number 1. This video system is physically changing your brain. Yes, absolutely. 100% <laughs> true. That thing's closer. This thing over here is closer. This is so much closer, I don't like it. This video system leverages the principles of neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections. Through these specific audiovisual stimuli and cognitive exercises, it's influencing specific neural pathways in your brain, thereby physically altering the structure and function of your brain in response to this experience. Well, Statement you can't. Number two. Even Only if I a move very my small camera. percentage of people will never betray their moral values, no matter the situation. A small percentage of people will never betray true, yeah. What? You, you think a large percentage will never betray? Under the right circumstances, such as intense oh, peer pressure, will, see, survival okay. situations, you can't or see psychological manipulation, it's proven that anyone like can be made to betray even the strongest attachments to the moral values. Down here. Statement number Anyone three, will change. through your conscious mind, you make your own decisions. Okay, it's gonna, I'm gonna put false because it's saying no, actually, your decisions are predetermined by some greater blah blah blah, yeah, yeah. A large portion of human decision making occurs at an it's unconscious actually moving. level. Look the at conscious the fingers, mind it's rationalizes it's these decisions closer. after the fact, making the person believe they made a deliberate choice. I'm, I'm so choice out. is an illusion. How does this Statement have number four. Left? We all have our moral thoughts and desires, but it's critical to focus our energy on the positive aspects of ourselves so that we can be better people. Okay, the correct answer is true in the real world, but I'm going to put false because it's saying um, you're actually supposed to give in to those evil desires. Yeah. The darkest aspects of your mind are part of a larger psychological entity that resides deep within your unconscious. This shadow entity cannot be reasoned with. It cannot be ignored. It's like the Russian you sleep experiment. It, lock it away or eliminate it. The idea of there's Even this monster in everyone. Such thing has the opposite effect, only making it stronger, yeah, darker, and more dangerous. It. Statement number five: Opening the door to your shadow psyche and embracing your darkest urges as a part of yourself is the only way to live a it's fulfilling life. It's gonna be true. Life. It's gonna be true. Yeah. I only missed two, so I did pretty good there. <laughs> This is just no, 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 no. Testing don't complete. Do don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. 
and stop. Activation, establishing the subliminal bridge. What you are about to experience has been carefully constructed, in combination with previous exercises, to create a connection point between your conscious and unconscious oh, mind. Awesome. This is our final section of this tape. Please watch and listen very closely. Do not look away or shield your eyes for any reason. Okay, here we go. This Please remember, your fear and vulnerability are essential components to this process. Activation of the subliminal bridge will begin in five seconds. The monster seconds. left because it's in my head now. That's the idea. The black door. Okay. If someone opened my office door right now, I would explode. Maybe this isn't good for me. Maybe the evangelicals are right. Maybe maybe technology has devils inside of it. Maybe I should be Amish. Maybe that's the answer. I'm not looking away. I don't care for you. Stop that. Go away right now. I don't care for that. I don't particularly care for that. Just get it over with, guys. Matt, Rob, be a man. Just hit me. Hit me. Right here. Clean shot. <laughs> Just end up. What you're doing? What you're doing? Hit me! Hit me! Was so this part of our psychological test, or is this more corruption because I'm watching it on a different camera or something? Just kill me. Just. Haha! Oh, you're very creepy. You're very cool. Now you can, you can get it over with any time. You're proving your point. You can just end it. I don't like that door opening. Don't like it. Don't like it. I hate when you're in the shower and you hear something because then it's like, what do I do? Do I fight it naked? <laughs> just like, it's the cups while I'm all slippery? No. You just have to live with it. Probably is reestablishing my brain. It's probably the equivalent of doing like PCP in a alley in Boston. I'm sure this is good for me, whatever it is. The Earth's interesting because remember, it seems that the root of everything that's happened was a meteor that crashed to Earth sometime back, right? And then lodged something in Greylock, in Mount Greylock.
attacked. Don't care for it. I'm neurodivergent and a minor, sir. <laughs> this is... No. Nope. Stop. <laughs> don't get closer to it. Don't get closer. Rob, guys, you don't need to do that. It's okay. I get it. I get it. There's something in there. I don't need to know anymore. Now that looks like the tunnels, right? Activation complete. Clear. Oh. clear. Is it? No sign of this Melbourne. Kennels are empty too. Buffy said she had dogs here. This is the police going to investigate. Okay, well, we're seeing the basement where Melgren's dog, where Charlotte was. North Adams Police. Anybody down here? Jesus, it's dark in here. Is that a goat? Game. Well, not game. Show, movie, whatever this is. Stop. Oh, God. What the fuck's that smell? Jesus Get it over Christ. with. Do it. It. Just do it. Ah, guys, I, I get it. You're very creepy. You're very scary. Done on completing the TF2, waking your subconscious, video cassette. Please allow your brain to rest for at least 12 hours before continuing this video system. Once you have rested and you are ready, enter the cassette labeled TF3, the shadow, communion and assimilation. This is the end of this tape. Guys, <laughs> hold on. That might have been the coolest thing <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> hold on. Hats off, boys. Man, that was awesome. Oh my gosh. I, w I watch so many, so many horror series, you know, video games, stuff like that. And it's so often that I watch something and I'm like, I wish the creators would just do it, right? Like, they would just go there. Like, you've got this giant amalgamation flesh thing that turns people into it cool show me how brutal that can get show me show me like the most metal intense links this concept will be pushed to like i remember when i was watching um nope the jordan peele film 
when the 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 ship goes above the house or do you think it's a ship the alien goes above the house and like throws up all the blood and bones like perfect a, a giant ship that eats people that's what i want to see i want to see how gross it is so you've got shapeshifters i want to see how gross it is there you go that's that's insane her arms have like turned into like that the, they're morphine which is why it's happening which is why at the beginning of the video you're asked what's the difference between morphine all this stuff and you her arms are morphine and she's joining the form of the dogs it looks like like all their flesh is becoming putty together and if you watch her face not only is she getting like dog eyes but her mouth is becoming like that of a dog <laughs> 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 They're all joined. The flesh is becoming nothing. It's becoming a puddle into each other. It's like, it's like, yeah, you want, you, you have this, like this wretched thing brought out of the mountain that is using flesh. It's using, uh, biology like putty to create these new creatures. How gross does that get? Greylock shows you, man. And obviously it's reminiscent of the thing, right? It makes me think of that scene from the thing where the dogs are, you know, being attacked. Um, this is like John Carpenter in like an analog horror space. It's gosh, that was good, man. Once again, Greylock on top. I'm glad I titled it as the best of analog horror in that video. And it has held up to the title, man. Whoo. That was good. What do you guys think? That was insane. That, that, that I'm like, man, Gosh, that was good. Matt, Matt or Rob, are you two, are either of you two in here? I saw Matt a minute ago. Hats off, man. That was, that was stellar. There you are, Matt. Congrats, dude. For real. Insane. Oof. I don't know how long it took y'all to do it, but it was worth it. <laughs> it paid off. I don't know how long that effect was, but more, more please. <laughs> I'll have a second open to that. Re really, like there's, there's few times that I watch like a horror product, especially nowadays. And when I get done, I'm like, yeah, they did every, they, they pulled everything that could be pulled out of that concept. I'm satisfied. This is one of those times you all. Yeah. Gosh, that's so good, man. Rob, Rob's here as well. Awesome. My dude, Whew. man, you guys killed it. Also, Rob, big fan of the channel. been watching you for years, dude. Um, wow. Gosh, that was so cool, man. I feel, I feel like I just got done, like, shooting up something. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm good. Uh, one more time. Look at that. Ah, oh, it's so painful. It's so loud. Look, you can see, I think this is, you can kind of see her leg over here. I think this is like the dog's midsection morphing in. Like, it's like the creature took everything that was in there and just began to, like, push it into each other. Like, <laughs> so painful. Ah, oh, 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 art. Gosh, it's good. Okay. All right. I did, I did the test the way you're supposed to do the test. I didn't pause it. So now we can go through and look at some more details about it. The analysis section, so to speak. So... Once it said the pro you can't pause the program is when I started pausing the program here. So uh, beginning. All right. Oh, Rob, thanks so much, dude. Hugely appreciate it. Fun fact that behind the scenes, Matt and I refer to her as dog mom. <laughs> oh, that's so metal. Dog mom. Yo, that's brutal. That, remi that reminds me so much of old like um, horror movies and stuff like that. They'd build like these big props on set and they'd be like, oh yeah, this is, you know, Fred or this is like, you know, the, the, the father stuff like that. Ah, oh, that's so cool, dude. That's awesome. I'm so happy to hear that dog mom. Yo, that's so cool. Uh, this is dope. Okay. Thing induction. All right, let's Please look at some details. Your screen for 30 seconds. I remember there's a screen that flashed. I'm not sure if I can see it if I'm just dragging. Okay, I don't need epilepsy again. This this thing back here, we saw that. That's the thing getting into your mind. Yeah. And ride it down on your side each. 
I think it was at the end of... No, it was during this one the flash started. That's right. Yeah, if you yeah. do not have your workbook, simply write the numbers 1 through 5 vertically on your paper and place your answers beside each correspondence. Oh, I see you all are making it into Dog Mommy. I see. Well, you're just less than us. Number. The worms will forget your name. Now, let's begin. I still think rope is the only different one there. Can we see the workbook? Yeah, it's just, um, I mean, so this, there were two sections you had to write stuff down. So I had my, my answers were rope, blood, visible, uh, in what was, what was that one improved and you and then down there true true false 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 and or false false true and the only one i got wrong was two so there's there's the workbook so there you go i remember like there was a flash where like the words there we go see i knew it i knew it was coming I knew it was coming all right what did i say all you cherish will be remade. Okay, that's a nice note. Wait, was this a different set of words? I know that's Charlotte. Terrified. Okay, so all we got there was... Okay, that leads into the next five. Okay, it's... Yeah, so all you cherish will be remade. And then Charlotte. Probably. Right, that's probably Charlotte with the dogs. And then it says... Local Samaritan opens her heart and home to stray dogs. Charlotte, I think. Something, something. Adoption Center, Forever Friends. That's an unfortunate name. Uh, okay, yeah. So we get, we get a brief preview of what's going to happen with Charlotte. Poor girl. So that also means... I want to go back after this and listen to uh, what the star, whatever the star is, said to Jim. Because if that's his daughter that just died like that, did it warn him? Was there any forewarning about it? Because we have the other girl that everything happened to. I forget her name, but the one who had the phantom pregnancy, you know, who like comes back to life in the, uh, in the, uh, the morgue. She's also another sick word. Uh, love contorts her flesh and bone. Yeah, yeah. So the um, the thing we just saw about Charlotte and the um the dog, the newspaper said like loving woman, whatever opens her heart, whatever. So speaking of Charlotte, love contorts her flesh and bone. Oh yeah, yeah, Ray. Oh, oh. So here, given where this eventually goes, it's saying that all these words fit together because to be mutilated, disfigured, mangled, butchered, and dismembered is to be improved. And then in five. Mm. All those fit together because the the changing, the turning, the mutating, that's you. That's what's happening to you. Where is your precious daughter, Jim? Yep. Yep. It's Jim's daughter that it happened to. Ah, uh, ouch. 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 Uh, missing Charlotte Melgren. Yeah, I think we know what happened to her. Man. Priming complete. Okay, hold on. I just I'm I'm reading chat because Rob just responded to someone named Flamsy and said yes. What did you ask Flamsy? 
Where are you? Don't hide from me. I need to know what Rob said yes to. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, here it is. Is the Simeo Dine Twitter account official? Oh, okay. That's confirmation for Rob that it is official. All right, we'll check that out after this. Because I saw it, I saw it on Twitter, but it was like, is this just a fan making it as a joke and Rob's following it just to be funny? But if it's official, we might check it out. Okay. All right. Hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're you're transforming, haha. Priming complete. DIA recovery footage, Greylock Project Tunnel Exploration, Cam Operator Paul Morelli. Yeah, okay, Paul Morelli of Morelli Construction. If you remember, he is the guy. He's the one that all the transformations happened to. The entire um uh, the, the, the part I mentioned in my video is being like my favorite part of the series, maybe competed by dog mom, but my favorite part in the series when they're in the mountain and he's making the calls where he's like becoming one of the creatures from inside of the mountain. Um, that's him. So this was his camera as he was going down there. It says that the, re the date on cam is like corrupted, but it's not it almost looked like it said the camera date was 1897. That doesn't make sense unless there's some time. I'm incomplete. I'm going to assume it's 1997. It's just. Could be some weird time stuff. Who knows? Cam recovery date, April 8th, 1987. It looks really smooth too, but yeah, it's our first. We've seen pictures, but this is our first, I think, video glimpse of the tunnels in Mount Greylock. That Paul was compelled to go down into. Then warning, unauthorized alterations detected. This device has detected unauthorized alterations to the program content of this tape. Please stop playback immediately and return this cassette to your program liaison. Failure to adhere to this warning may result in undesired consequences and could compromise your physiological well-being. Your compliance is mandatory. Well, it's too late for that. Great, glad that happened. Is that the total of 87? <laughs> variation of the screw it's always 87. Which will measure multiple facets of your reaction to congruent and incongruent stimuli while also examining how you deal Is with high stress, high anxiety I don't know. situations. I don't know where Jim, because the way Jim Melgren's implied to be like a fighter against all this, I don't know when he'd be face. watching this tape. The word could match the expression, like the word happy on a smiling face, okay. or they might not match, like the word angry appearing on a sad face. Here. You are about to so I remember doing all this. I don't remember if there's anything that popped up. I don't think there was anything that popped up in the middle. I know at the end. We get to the changed part. You can normally you can normally tell with these just by looking where everyone else paused. See the little bumps everywhere? That means something happened and people are like, wait, what was that? So they go back and look. Hence the dog mom ending. Look at that one. Gosh, that's so cool. It's such a Okay, hold on. There was something there. I don't know if we'll be able to pull anything out of it, but... No, it's just the face is glitching around. It's nothing. So you can actually watch it right here. It moves across at the very beginning. Not there it is, see? Yeah, yeah. Man, it just, it deleted the door. That's so wild. Is that queso? No, if, if it was queso, the, the deck would be gone. It'd just be like, pfft, straight through the floor. Queso said he watches my videos. That was, that was very cool of him. I appreciated that. Queso's a cool guy. I don't think there's anything that happened here. So whatever entity is manipulating the footage was taunting Jim. Where's your daughter, Jim? You know, so. I mean, the power's out, but it literally got ding. Please, have my flashlight. Like, real quick. 
quick and all of that. Um, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, it's on the roof. See this? See this thing right here? You'll watch it move. Okay. Uh, Look at it crawl. Right now, and then going right across to the camera. Oh, it's so, so freaky. On another it's cool. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm inside. He should have known. He should have been like, this is weird. This is weird. Don't, whatever that is, don't do it. Which I imagine this has to be one of, this thing that got into the kennel has to be one of the creatures from the mountain, right? Because that's where we see like the flesh people come out of, right? I would think, at least. Love contorts my flesh. Yeah. Hmm. Out. There could be something to that phrase, love contorts. But see, we don't know a lot about either the motives or the reason the thing in Grey Law. I mean, we assume it's for control. Why whatever in the mountains doing it is doing it. But we don't know that. So maybe... Maybe there is something about, like, what you're drawn to forces you to become it. Maybe it's an involuntary process, almost, when these creatures are around. Maybe the love contorts her actually meant something, rather than just it threw her into what she loved. Maybe that had some, like, binding effect. I don't know. That part where she's like, the, do the dogs aren't moving. And then she says, uh, my skin feels different. Uh, uh, my skin feels like it's moving, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to go check on the dogs real quick. On their Is that the thought form that killed the kid? Uh, which kid? <laughs> I have to remember which uh, child died. I remember my theory was all of the pregnancies were thought forms. I'm trying to remember when a child died in the series. Wasn't there something about people falling out of the sky that like quickly got brushed over? I remember that, but we never saw it. Yeah, which kid? Which kid? <laughs> when did a kid die in the series? I'm not kidding. Kid in the room. Oh, the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The little the 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 girl who uh, went to the doctor's place and stuff. I don't think it's the same one, but they look similar. This one looks way taller, but maybe that's just maybe I'm wrong about that. Hmm. My way to the basement, but everything seems fine. Dead bodies raining I'm, down I'm over really Cheshire. Sure That's what it was. Yeah. Listen, something we haven't seen it, but it was mentioned by it was mentioned by the analyst who died in uh, the same. I'm pretty sure it's the same one where we listened to uh, the construction crew guys' tapes. At the end, the face in the closet like tackles him, and then it mimics the kid's voice. Remembers it's like it's a monster, haha, because it it killed a kid. At least in my theory, it killed a kid. Things I'm seeing of your home. It mimics the police's you, voice. Yeah, yeah. Man, mean, this is such a good scene. Craylock is so good. Honestly, I'm, I'm not so sure many exactly highlights. what I'm looking at here. It seems like the camera's Greylock glitched out or something, top. but the previous calls you've been getting, they, they weren't false alarms. Greylock is a whole yeah, yeah, I'm not sure it's what's going on here, but five. something's been. Let me think. The back rooms. Okay, I'm gonna. If I, if I was to count the oldest view as well. They would both be up there. So I'll just say Kane's work, his body of work. The Mandela catalog. What else would go up there? Probably. Maybe the Walt Files. I don't know. The Walt Files is good, but it doesn't hit as hard as something like Greylock does for me. Honestly, that might be my top three. Mandela, Kane, and uh, um, Greylock. Hold on, let me look at Well, Jim and I, I don't know, actually. Jim and I, Jim and I would be top five, I think. Hold on. Side quest for a moment. Uh, oh, there, there's my channel. I'm trying to think about ones I've made videos on. Urban Spook, for sure, no. Um...
It's been a while since I've made... I like the Hypnagogic Archives, but it's not It's not top five. Um, I do like it more than most people do, though. Um, man, it's been a while since I've covered something that isn't Kane or Mandela. Probably Gemini. I like Gemini more than... I, Local 58 was like the forerunner. It kicked off everything, but... I mean, it's been so long between episodes and stuff. I think I, I, think I like Gemini more. Gemini's pro when did the last Gemini come out? I feel like it's been a while. Cause I made a video on it like three years ago. And since then it's had four. Last one came out nine months ago, yeah. Uh Monument Mythos. Um uh, hmm. I don't think Monument Mythos... I, I like Monument Mythos, don't get me wrong. I don't think it would be top five. I like... I like the level of absurdism the Monument Mythos gets to. But for me, it loses some points in the horror and storytelling aspect because of it. Because it can pull anything. And I love that it can pull anything. Like, it can go that far. But I don't think it'd make a top five for me. White Stag's good. I don't think that'd be a t that would be a top five. What, what did what did Rob say? We're not stopping until we're top zero. LOL with that. I must be off. Thanks again, man. Always love your coverage of videos in general. Happy for your continued success. That means a lot, Rob. It means a lot coming from someone who was an inspiration to me being where I am today. It means a lot, dude. Take care. Absolutely love the series. Greylock's definitely a top three for me. Um, Yeah, congrats, congrats on the success, man. Keep it up. It means a lot. Uh... I don't... Vita Carnus would not be top five, I don't think. We've got... We need one more to top five. So, so far, it's... So far, it's Gemini, um, Mandela, Kane. If I broke Kane up into two, that'd be my five. But Kane, Greylock. Search and Rescue Officer isn't... That, I'm not counting that now. Maybe the Wallet Files? Yeah. No, I don't think it'd be Harmony and Horror. See, okay, so the, the the number one thing I look at with these things is how well the story works off of all of it. I understand some stuff may have really scary moments and things like that, right? No, Mystery Flesh Pit doesn't count either because I'm talking like YouTube analog horror series. Mystery Flesh Pit's like an ARG, sure, but I'm not, that, that doesn't go on. If we're counting ARGs, then there's, so, there's all kinds of stuff I could pull, but no. Um, I don't know what my fifth would be. The FNAF VHS tapes, yeah, for sure. No, but anyway, what I was Pet Scop. That's it. That's it. That's my that's my fifth for sure. For sure. Pet Scop. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's that's the top five. Greylock, Mandela, Kane, um, uh, Gemini, and Pet Scop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what what I was saying is how well the horror and the mystery work into the story that's trying to be told. And I think that Things like um, Greylock do a great job of that. But like other ones that kind of meander and they kind of leave the story for the bit and they kind of they, they, they kind of side quest a lot, you know. Um, I was thinking of that in relation to one of them. I can't remember which one now, but yeah, I don't know. I'd say that's my top five. Yeah, yeah. I'll say this, if all of the Walton Files, if Walton Files continues now at the quality the last episode was, like that good, then I think it would kick out Gemini to be in the top five. But Walton Files, Walton Files is just out of it right now because I feel like their best moments have been from like part three on. Well, I don't know. There's some really good stuff in part two. I'd have to think about it. A definite top four, though, is Petscop, um, Mandela, Kane, and um, Greylock. Yeah, yeah, that's a definite top four. And then, like, Gemini and Want Files are, like, biting each other for it right now. My opinion, not that my opinion matters, but, yeah. Bob's Burgers, yeah, you're right. The clear top five. Uh, yeah, Vita Carnus, I was going to see how much more has been added. facility 
a makeshift promo. Okay, so there's only one. There's only one left. Okay, hold on. Let's finish. Let's finish going through this. Talking around your property for a while now. I, I'm not sure how the previous people called you. White stag's good, but I wouldn't. Okay. I wouldn't call it top five Something of all time. Like what an animal or no no well i i don't know actually i just listen i i just think you should go back to your house okay please okay okay yeah you you win let me just make sure that the dogs are okay and i'll head back over they're just right here okay thank you i'm gonna try to look over nice again just in case it's that. decided to work okay uh, harmony and horror is fun <laughs> That's harmony and horror was what I was thinking. I was trying to describe they kind of leave the plot for a bit and then like come back to it because I felt like I felt like a lot of the time up until the end, the ending was really good. Uh, but I feel like they keep adding new elements of the plot rather than explaining the initial premise. Like I may, I may have this totally wrong, but like for example, with Greylock, you open up and you're like, there's some kind of supernatural aspect in the mountains. And then every episode you get after that's more explanation to that. Whereas some, I, if I remember right, Harmony and Horror is like, oh, we have a family who's disappeared. Then you find out there's cult stuff. But then there's a lot of like, well, it actually relates to this. And here's, I don't know. It's, it, Greylock explains its beast, I feel, in a more satisfying way. And that's why it narrowly edges out for me, basically. Why are you talking about red skeleton? Okay, whatever. Oh um, my Oh Here's goodness, where he says like it walk in, calls the police. What? 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 That looks really good too. This, is, to this effect looks really house. good, but dog mom, like, I'm sending well. your information to the police right now. I think my skin is moving. It's so metal. It's so metal. Now, you're gonna be okay. I don't think whatever it was saying can be the same. For one, this video system is physically changing your brain. Okay, then there's some weird images here, like, this is you morphing, I think, or like, preparing your mind for the morph. Or to, or to create thought forms, which I thought was where this was going, but, I don't know. If I doubled the playback speed on this, can we make it out any? This looks like Greylock. This looks like the mountain, like in the tunnels going outside. I think. Her shirt's the logo for the uh, the kennel, by the way, the two dogs next to each other. So good! Oh, it's so good. Man, what a banger. I'm gonna be thinking about that for a while. Nailed it. Nailed it! Is there something in the static just then? No, it's just static. Okay. So I'm imagining that our next tape is TF3, the Shadow Community Simulation. I imagine that's going to be the next video is the implication. Or... I don't think there's a hidden video somewhere, right? Probably not. In a frame when we see the newspaper, Charlotte says, I've been so deeply changed by the dogs I cared for. Yeah, I guess you were. Oh, okay. Someone said when you speed up the voice at 2920, it says, but parasites like these while distressing are no match for man when he's well organized. 
Oh, is that saying that there is a hope against the things about Greylock? That there's uh there's an upside to it? Maybe. Hmm. Interesting. Well done on completing the TF2, waking your subconscious, video cassette. Please allow your brain to rest for at least 12 hours before continuing this video system. Once you have rested and you are ready, enter the cassette labeled TF3. Yeah, there's no, no one knows of any unlisted videos, right? There's nothing else out there. I don't think so. That was good. That was dope. All right. Uh, what else do we want to check out now? Hats off, Greylock. 10 out of 10. Um, uh, yeah, we'll try Boiled. We'll try that one. See how that goes. Dr. Nowhere. There was, um, there was something I was going to punch in. Oh, someone said... What did I say a second ago? I said something out loud. I was like, oh, I'll check out... Oh, uh, someone said winner of 83. That's what it was. I've heard of that before. I think I've actually seen it. No, I have not. But I've heard of it. Wait, Linkara made it? Like, OG Linkara Channel Awesome Nostalgia Critic? Yeah, this is his channel. Wait, did he make it or did he just post a compilation? Man, that's OG YouTube. No, yeah, Playlist Linkara. Okay. Cool. All right. That, did, that, that was unexpected. Yeah, yeah, the Lightbringer. Yeah, wow. Okay, interesting. Um, I bet, I bet, I guarantee you, some of you all are too young to know who I'm talking about. Yeah, man, this is the most boomer moment ever. Okay, let me look up. Okay, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna look these up to see how long they are because I don't want to be here another five hours. But angel hair, how long is that? Because these things that are too long. Will just be their own stream. hair maybe hold on okay is this the playlist for angel hair okay it looks like there's a lot but they're short that's the theme song that doesn't count yeah okay Tape one, tape two, and they're each like a few minutes. Okay, we might do that. I want to do boiled one first. Okay, angel hair is potential. It seems pretty short. That is, in fact, angel hair, right? The angel hair series. I'm not getting it wrong. Family Guy analog horror. I did see that real quick. Was that what I was looking at? Is that Family Guy analog horror? photorealistic blood poured across the screen i immediately felt the need to pull a knife out of the drawer and stab myself repeatedly as chris's face stared back into me i felt him coming alive through the screen walking towards me as amazing grace became distorted over the photorealistic blood <laughs> and then windigoon comes in and he's like, we can see here from Stewie's reaction in the final frame that perhaps he recognizes the cycle that he's in. Perhaps the final shot, as the screen cuts into his small old face, means that he has decided to give in to the torment that he has experienced and understands that the cycle can never be bested. Chris has already realized this, hence why his face appears time and time again as the victim. And Amazing Grace is, <laughs> is the subtle uh, realization that... 
uh, God is actually the one doing all of this, and Christianity's real and biblically accurate angels and also giants. So there you go. You like that? Uh, <laughs> uh, kid, uh, kid in the camera is a really good one. Um, I've seen this shot before. I think I've seen this one before. There was one shot from it that I thought was really stand out. So it's a FNAF VHS tape, which some of them are really good. Um, as above, so below. That's a heavy quote. <laughs> So, as above, so below, like, that word gets used a lot, but it's used to describe hell, uh, and the idea that, um, well, so there's, I don't know which came first, but there's positive connotations as, as is in heaven, so on earth, like, let us do, but the other connotation is as on earth, so is in hell. So, like, as we do on earth is in service to what hell really is, or we try to be better to be, like, as of heaven. But you know, whenever it's used in horror, it's referring to hell. Um... Fixing their damn robots. And look, all I'm asking is that they treat us with dignity. We work twice as hard as so, everyone else. I mean, it looks good. Not quite the cane like pixel shit. level of like, you know, movement in uh, 3D settings and stuff like that. But definitely passable. Oh. And then... <laughs> It looks really good, but the one shot that always stuck Hello? with this, yeah. Hello. Who are you? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Oh, but I'm not a stranger. I know you, and you know me. You're my friend. Foxy? And then, See? right. Yeah, yeah. It's good, it's good. It's a lot of cool stuff. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. A lot of cool stuff gets done with the FNAF VHS tapes. Um, there was another one. There was one more I said I was going to look at. Uh, oh, I've heard of Valet Verda before. I actually think the creator reached out to me to watch it a while back, and I never got around to it. How long is that? I know he's parts of it's in it's either it's either Spanish or Portuguese. Uh, English, English. Okay, so it's two parts, forty minutes each. It's made to look like an old like um, like uh, what am I thinking? Like old Legend of Zelda games, like an old GameCube game, stuff like that. Midwest Angelica, gosh, you got there's so many. There's Midwest Angelica. There's one more I was gonna check out for length, see if it's feasible. Uh, that's pretty short. Each four minutes, thirty seconds, six minutes. That's not bad. There was one I saw a while back that I'm like, oh, that'd make a good stream. I think it was called Nephilim or something like that, or Giants, or maybe Leviathan. That looked cool. Yeah, I'm going to do Boiled One. We're doing Boiled One. Yes, we're going to do Boiled One, don't worry. Maybe, okay, we're do fine, fine, fine. I'll do boiled one now and then we'll come back. Let me look up Ted. What's what's your channel name that you started doing it? Ted's Caving Journal. The guy who did the uh, Ted the Caver one. Uh, oh, look at that. Who's that? Who's that? This is that. This is funny because this is the first Creepcast episode because we did this video and we're like, we could do a whole like podcast of this and voila. Uh, what the, what is this? <laughs> it's actually really nostalgic for me. I remember every single one of these. Let me 
made me feel kind of nice. It was, it was nice. I liked it. Um, I remember this video. This video is a classic. Uh, the abandoned mine. Uh, here we go. Ted's Caving Journal. You only have 11 subscribers? These look super high. Man, you've got like over an hour of content? What? No one's ch Okay. I'll subscribe. And then... And you up whoa whoa you upload these eleven minutes ago ten minutes ago what the heck? All right, okay. Well, we're doing we're doing we're doing the, the other one. For, wait, no, no. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay. I know I said I'd do that. We're gonna watch Facility. It's nine minutes, and then we'll be caught up on all our shows. Right? We're gonna watch Facility from Vita Carnis, and then, and then we're gonna go do Boiled One. Okay, okay. Okay. You keep saying the man in the suit. Well, hold that thought. Wait till we're done with this. Mission brief. Three ground teams are tasked with infiltrating a previously abandoned mall, titled Facility Zero. Which is located in the restricted zone based on our info. The mission will take place in three stages. Infiltration, encirclement, and ambush. Primary objective is to capture the facility and seize the items of interest for extraction. Numerous armed guards are located within the facility. Avoid detection and keep up your guard. Alpha team, in position. Beta team, in position. Gamma team. You know, maybe I'm forget. It's been a while since I watched Vita Carnus, uh since that stream. Actually, maybe I'm forgetting some details. When did the military start fighting them? Is it, I guess we haven't seen a lot of ground forces. Maybe this is just what's going on in the midst of everything. Copy. Beginning phase one. Well, hi Ryan. Hi. I hope your day at Waffle House is going well. I got. Oh yeah. Fun story. Not fun for me. So everywhere, I, I don't mean this in a pretentious way. I mean this just like factually. Like everywhere I go, I, everywhere I frequent, people know me as Windagoon, right? Because like one person will recognize me or I'll get to, like, for example, I go to church. It's not like they recognize me when they walk through the door, but we start talking about, oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a YouTuber. Oh, what's your channel name? Right. So now when I go, it's like, oh yeah, this guy's a YouTuber, right? I go to the gym. I got recognized at the gym. So a couple of guys are like, oh, you're the YouTuber, right? I go to my local coffee shop. Every time I go to get coffee, the barista is like, oh, I liked your new video that came out, whatever. Like, and it's fine. I, I enjoy it. You all are very kind. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. However, at my local Waffle House, no one knew who I was. And I wanted to see how long I could keep it going for. Because it was like my one place that I frequented. That no one knew, because I mean, like the OGs know, but Waffle House forever, right? And it every time I go there, it, it's the same waitress. I won't say her name to not dox her, but it's the same waitress. And there's always like old timers in there, right? Like local guys who are like 60 years old reading the paper. So every time I go sit down, they're like, "How?" I don't know their name. They don't know mine. But I sit down. They're like, "How you doing?" Did you hear about the down at the community center? They were adding an extension. I'm like, oh, wow, that's cool. I heard that they're finally fixing the bridge over on blah, blah, blah. And they're like, good. It's about time someone did something about just like local jibble jabber. Does I, I don't ask their name. They don't ask mine. I don't ask what they, what they do for a job. They don't ask mine. We just talk and same with the waitress. I know what the waitress does. She's, waiting on me at waffle house but we'll talk about like oh my wife did this did that blah 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 whatever right i went a couple weeks ago 
And the waitress, as soon as I sit down, the waitress goes, I did not know you were famous. And I'm like, dang it. <laughs> I've lost, I've lost my one, my one holdout. She was like, I was over at my cousin's house and you were on TV. And I was like, that's Isaiah from Waffle House. And her cousin goes, oh, you watch Windigoon? And she goes, I don't know what that is, but that's Isaiah from Waffle House. So she found out. So it, I lost that one. So, yeah. Yep. Got me. Got me around the, field. the sanctuary's gone. Yeah, you know, what can I do? There is there is a gun range I've been to a couple times that no one knows me there yet. So I guess I guess that's my holdout. Um, no, no, honestly, I don't. I don't. I, I enjoy, like every time someone comes up to me and is like, "Oh, I know you from YouTube." Like it's a great interaction. The the only time someone's been weird ever is when it was at a concert and they were drunk and they were just being drunk. That was that was the only remotely negative reaction, right? Um, and it wasn't even negative. It was just kind of like, it got it like socially awkward. Um, but every single interaction I have with you guys has been great. I don't mean to discredit it at all. If you see me in public, please come talk to me. It makes my day. Uh, but there was, a, there was a, a uniqueness to walking into a waffle house and I'm just, everyone there doesn't know me from Adam. Right. But now that's gone. It's fine. It's fine. But I did miss the waffle house sanctity. Um, I met like a few people yesterday. Was, we went out for dinner and I met a few people who watched the channel and one of the guys had like a little food truck set up and he was like really excited to see me and he gave me a free sandwich and it was a delicious sandwich. It was very good. Uh, so that was sweet. Yeah. Well, like I said, I'm not complaining at all, but I, there was, I did like being just a no name at a waffle house, but now I can't. Is what it is. Eyes on the point. Clear and path. Those are the the plants, right? I'm, I'm going to forget the names because it's been forever since I watched Peter Carnage, but those are the plants, I think. This would probably Copy. mean more Green to me to if go. I, like, we remembered all the details advance. from the previous episode, so forgive me for my lack of understanding. Harvesters, that's it. Yeah, thank you. Alpha Team, copy. Beginning advance. Is that the giant? All right, we're heading out. Move, move, yeah, remember move. that there's like a few super giant like antenna things. It is cool to see people like when Kane started incorporating 3D elements into his ARG. Everyone's like, oh yeah, we can do that. And they start doing it too. I think it's, I think it's a cool touch. The monolith, yeah, that's what it's called. Thank you, thank you all. It's nice to have like a a um, interactive dictionary next to me, just ready for info. Lights off! Come on, move. Just an encyclopedia ready to go. Interactive notebook. Thank you, Ray. It's good name. Yeah, there's the monolith. Yep. They communicate to each other or something, right? Yeah, I remember. I'm, I'm sorry for not remembering the details, but something about the monolith makes a ring around them. Like a field. Keep your distance. Radio Single radio. file. I would love to do an ARG. Uh, that incorporated a lot of like uh, military elements into something like this, like SWAT teams and stuff. Not, not. I, I, I don't mean military. Like, oh. I mean like uh, assault forces and stuff like that. So you have like SWAT teams going into anomalous in positions. In position, waiting like green that. light. Uh, not SCP in the level of like scope, but SCP kind of in the level of like how individual missions go, stuff like that. That'd be cool. I've been writing a lot for stories and stuff like that, and there's a couple. I'm just thinking out loud right now. There's a couple that may have a home on YouTube. Because uh, most of them are, like, things that I'm writing to, like, talk to, like, producers about, do film stuff with. But there's a couple that maybe I just want to, you know, try my hand, perhaps. I've watched I've watched a lot of ARGs and horror media. Might as well make it into something, right? Copy. Green light is a go. Begin phase two in advance.
Because if you could do if you could do stuff like this, but you can actually film it in person, uh, I think, and then you add in like the 3D elements and stuff like that later. Uh, it takes very competent editors and like graphic artists to make that happen. But I've been connected to a lot of really cool people in the field through my endeavors and stuff. It would be possible. It would be possible. There's one that it's not like operator. It's not like action packed. But there's one horror story I've really been thinking about making into like a YouTube thing. My might need to do that for Halloween or something, we'll see. I have a bunch of really cool stuff planned for Halloween if it all goes well. We'll see. Been, I've been blessed enough to meet a lot of really great people in the industry to make these wild ideas a reality. Hopefully you all enjoy. Is that the... Is that blood splatter on the floor? I can't tell whatever this thing is. Okay, it's gone now. Okay, yeah, it's bodies. Is this the bodies of the, a crew that went in before them? Because the second go looked like they were standing. Alpha team in position. We are experiencing mechanical interference. Should we resume? Copy, phase three is still a go. Preparing for breach. Breach in three, two, one, breach. I didn't know they were worshipping it. Was that mentioned anywhere in the series? I don't think it was. That was good. I liked it. Vita Karn is still cooking. Very nice. I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. Uh, again, this would have meant more to me had I... Oh, it was a shopping... See, if I remembered all the details from the previous ones, it would have meant more. Okay, boiled one. Boiled one. Oh, wait. Someone said man in suit. I just want to see what that is. It sounds like a Slender Man thing. Oh, man in suit's the, uh, the Godzilla one, right? Yes, I think this is it. People were saying this one's good. It might come after Boiled One. Hold on, but boil, Boiled One. Boiled One first. I don't think I can get to Ted's Caving Journal today because it's a long one. And it might be its own stream. But uh, go subscribe to this guy. He needs... I see 70 of you have. That's good, but he needs more. To put out this level... Of, already, just from these thumbnails, like... First letter of your name. Okay. Um... Is documenting what I was just well, we saying about doing in person stuff in an ARG format is a virgin passage. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's stellar. Yeah, go sub to that guy, even if I can't get to it today, I'll get to it at some point. We've talked, we've talked about on Creepcast doing like um videos, but we also have a pretty decent Spotify side growing well. Um, so it's like, how do you do video reactions and talk about them and stuff if 
the you know the audio listener can't see what you're talking about so i don't know question chad who thinks wendigo would be a good fit as a live action mothman cultist from fallout if if they asked me to cameo in an episode of the fallout show i immediately would all right so i've seen this video because i've seen it in memes on twitter so we're going to start with that toe starving for help trapped do i need to okay hold on we're diving into a whole new channel new arg let me do it right my name is silas ryan i'm 17 years old i make perceivable content sometimes <gasps> wow 17 certified uh certified uh cane pixels if i do say so myself this is in morse code right hold on Okay, we'll, 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 we'll catch up, then we'll check out community stuff. Okay. I've seen this on Twitter, uh, and I saw it and was like, huh, that's interesting. Uh, no subtitles. pretty good it's pretty it's a good animation creepy i like it we'll see where it goes from there so after that has this ever happened to you all all the lights it'd be really funny if it just started blaring all the lights by kanye west all of the lights uh okay has this ever happened to you it's getting dark outside you are getting ready for bed Grabbing a cold glass of water, and now you are turning off all the lights in the house. Do you feel that? Or maybe hear that? That sinking feeling that something is following you as soon as you turn off the lights? Well, worry not. We have a brilliant solution. <laughs> oh. There is nothing that follows there you is nothing after that you turn off all the lights in the house. There is nothing that follows you after you turn off all the lights in the house. There is nothing that follows you after you turn off all the lights in the house. that follows you after you turn off all the lights in the house. That was fun. That face was pretty good. Uh, the eyes opening effect. Oh, I have paused. That was good. I like that face. That was classic, classic uh, analog ARG, like the happy music. Have this ever happened to you? So, G. All right, next one. Hello. What do you want? What do you want? Please go away. Please go away. Me too. Go. <laughs> Yo, that was cool. You see that? It broke and then came through really quick. Ah, its face got bigger. That was good. Ooh, that looks really creepy. The movement so stilted. What the heck? Okay, so I guess 
gets closer, it comes at you. The body appeared untouched. Is this... Am I looking through the TV screen? Is that what the glass breaking means? Interesting. Yeah, wow, wee, 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 wow, wee, wee, wee. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, he's, he, that guy was way too chill. Please go away. I don't have time. Please, sir. All right, next one. So, toe is whatever that thing is. It's a kid in there. Okay. <laughs> Some point and click game. Good children are up bright and early. Welcome, welcome to Chili's. Good children play pretend. Good children do not play with their food until it is all. I saw it. I saw it flash by real quick. Yep. Lovely. Oh, 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 he's inside of the room looking out through the TV screen. That's what his point of view is, or the point of view of being right behind him. Good children make friends. Friends in the TV, perhaps? Question mark. A giant heart. Okay, hold on. That was a giant heart in the room. Got it. Uh, Carter and Dominic are online. Miss their faces. Use our new fit chat feature. The old original. The young you. Smile hood. <laughs> What's up? It's been forever. Okay. Tell my wife text me and she hates me. Seriously thought you were dead or something. I've been online friends for a while now. Yes. Best friends. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I know it's none of my business, but it feels like you've been... You, you've been acting real distant lately. If you go through something, I'm here to talk. Okay. <laughs> Like I said, it's none of my beeswax, and you don't have to say nothing, but do you need something? Face call, please. Yeah. Please now. He just said he wants to talk. Really sorry, Jimmy Jimmy. Okay, please let me friend. So is this Toe trying to talk to him? You're right. Please, please, please. <laughs> please, 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 please. And that's how I sound talking to my wife. Please, 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 please. <laughs> please. <laughs> yeah. Starving. Brother, starving. Heckin' prank. This is some heckin' prank. No heckerino. <laughs> Dude is tweaking right now. <laughs> None of it makes sense. Everything inside was gone. Talk about inside of the screen. Interesting. Okay. All right. And next we have the boiled one phenomenon. Okay. Well, that was a lot at first. Hold on. Media curated and brought to you by WebU Industries, courtesy of the Ephrata branch. 
You deserve to know you deserve better. Interesting. All right, I'm going to go P. I'm muting the mic. Uh, cause no freebies. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Couldn't hear anything. Stop lying. Do y'all remember that meme that was like the the form I was promised will be great, but the transformation will be agonizing. Hold on. Here it is. Okay. Okay, I found it. That this thing. My metamorphosis begins. Oh God, my flesh is The form they promised me is great, but my transition shall be agonizing. Ah! Oh God, please kill me! Ah! Mian, I'm just a small thin boy furry. I'm a floofy small bean. That's what Greylock reminded me of <laughs> with the dog mom. I didn't want to say it at the time, but <laughs> that's what the truth. <laughs> when y'all were making furry jokes, that's what it reminded me of. Okay. Just, just wanted to share that psychic damage with you all. Okay. <laughs> now, now we can be back to the video. All following media. Wait, no, hold on. Okay, already got to start this. I don't know what that is. That that's its hand. I bet that's Toe's hand. All following media has been captured with permission from personnel at Fratra two two eight. Um, great care has been taken to keep the identities of persons involved anonymous. Okay. Video contains elements which are called cognito hazardous conditions, including properties of a mentally physical exertion. Please refuse to blah 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 blah. blah. Most of the things that I watch are cognito you know, hazards because they hurt. Make sure you have the following in the vicinity. Earplugs, a pencil, a sheet. Oh, great. The sheet of paper from earlier comes back into play. Would you look at that? A standard Christian Bible open to Psalms 9110. What is Psalms 9110? My Bible's downstairs from my devotion I was doing. Uh, but... Let me open Psalm 9110 on my, I have a KJV Bible online. We will read it together. Uh, man, David sure was yapping a lot. 91 of these things. All right. Psalms 9110. There shall be no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. All right. Well, that's a fun thought, I guess. You know what Kane did? You remember how I said that, um, here, I don't have the Bible, but I have this. I'm not Catholic, but this is a crucifix from the Vatican. Uh, hence why Jesus is still on the cross. Not crazy about that, but it is from the Vatican. So that's neat. Um, so I have a crucifix ready to go. Whatever may happen. Um, 
Kane, he sent me the message. He sent me like the video of the skibbity toilet thing. And then I said, did you time this for when I was a chat uh, or when I was streaming? And he deleted, he deleted the video. He deleted the message where he sent it. He deleted everything and said, what? <laughs> and I was trying to convince me that I'm crazy. Okay. Okay. I see how it is. Okay. Earplugs. These are close enough. A pencil, sheet of paper, and then I have a electronic Bible and a Catholic cross. So. Something unusual begins speaking in tongues, tangible to the naked ears. Insert your earplugs and turn to your pencil and paper. Okay. We'll play along. Like I said, I'm... I want I want the full experience. So here we go. I it's not a pencil, it's a Sharpie pen, but whatever. All right. I can see this paper. Right. If I ever get investigated for anything, they're going to have a time going through this stuff. I can see my hand. I can. I can't Okay, I can't, <laughs> I can't hear the screaming of thousands yet, but you know, give me a, give me a little, give me going a little bit on a, on a Friday night. There's no telling what I'll hear. I can't hear the screaming of thousands. <laughs> uh, I can't hear the feast. Oh, a feast you say. I'm pretty hungry. I'm getting pretty hungry. I'm going to go eat a factor meal. I got a bunch for the sponsorship. They're pretty good. The tomato ones are really good. The chicken tomato, like sun-dried tomato. I am a moving, debatably, I've been sitting down, breathing. Is this interesting content for you all? Is this the kind of stream you were wanting? Being on planet earth cool i wrote it down all right now what did i miss you're like you missed it go back what what did i possibly miss it's text okay i did miss something you're right <laughs> I, did, I did see a red flash of letters fair Gotta be on my toes, I guess. Okay, I can't see this paper. I have no hand. I can hear the laughter of thousands. I can hear the feast. I cannot move, nor do I want to. I'm not writing that. I'm writing what I was told to write, like a good boy. After these words are written, recite Psalms 91, 10 aloud. If memories and images of something unholy persist in your mind, pray it's all you can do. Okay, so I read it earlier, so I'm going to count that. I do feel a little weird about, like, obviously Christian symbolism gets tied into stories and stuff like that. But I feel weird about me, myself, doing religious things out loud, like praying or, you know, talking to God or whatever. Like, making it irreverent. I mean, it's, it's obviously fine to use within a story, and I don't care to talk about being used in a story. But I won't say it out loud for the sake of it, because that feels a bit... Uh, not disgraceful, but... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, disrespectful, yeah. Just as a Christian. Obviously, I don't care that she's in the store. I, I see it used in stores all the time. In the event you are required to carry out these procedures, contact authorities immediately afterwards. You will be administered amnestics. Many appear to lead a normal life afterwards. Okay. Interesting. I've heard something about that crow much, and everyone's told me to check out the screw tape letters. Maybe I will. The late 90s, now classified documentary based television program would debut from a local station in Pennsylvania. The program revolved around woodland plants and animals and was. Hold on, hold on. And was primarily directed towards children. This is immediately already, this part is a huge leap from the others. Like, the others were fun, like, the toe thing looked interesting and stuff like that. 
but the amount of setting we've already had is a lot. Um, would I consider playing Darkwood? Yes. Video on the Rolling Giant. Yes, eventually. Uh, irreverent. That's the word. Not not uh, not disrespectful. Reverent. Thank you. Video on the road. Eventually. One day. Star of the show and narrator would talk about the wonders of nature, the dangers of it, how to appreciate it, most importantly, how to protect yourself from it. Unfortunately, in early Jesus one, the program would be taken off the air due to the host passing away. And something odd happened. On August 13th, the 13th episode of the series began to rerun seemingly out of nowhere, the following audio recording depicts the beginning segments of the episode. I've seen morning, some of the Jurassic Park. Okay, hold on. Someone mentioned the Jurassic Park analog core. I like the Jurassic Park analog core sometimes, but it's so hit and miss. I watch. I'm, I'm not kidding. I watched one Jurassic Park analog core that was like, I think it was a kid playing like an old Jurassic Park video game. And like, it was him in the microphone like, ah, oh, dinosaurs are chasing me. Ah. Oh. And like, people were throwing it on plain lists playlist with like other analog core so if i had like if i had the cream of the crop like these are the, the good ones watch just these i would but man it's so it's so hit or miss 13th episode of the series began a rerun seemingly out of nowhere the following audio recording depicts the beginning segments of the episodes good morning bushwhackers today we're venturing into the heart of the forest to find a plant it's as beautiful as it this is reminds me of home. Poison oak. We all know about it. I mean, it's Pennsylvania, and but here it's still in Pennsylvania, Appalachia. it's not as common, but still something to look out for. And here on, <laughs> we aim to uncover all the wonderful secrets Sensor that nature has to offer, Shame. no matter Shame. how minuscule or, or gigantic. So let's get going, shall we? I am getting white stag education flashbacks. Found primarily in deep North American woodlands, poison oak has many different names and places of origin, also referred to as the tree of heaven. Imagine that. In China and Taiwan, one of these invasive species made its way to America in the 1700s and took its ground here boldly. As many of us know, it's infamous. I've considered a Resident Evil video. Yeah, it'd be fun. During one of the interlude segments, an anomalous broadcast would hijack the program. This progress depicted videos of a red... Of a what? <laughs> also did a what now? The tree of heaven. Imagine that. In China and Taiwan. Wait, hold on. What did... It has many different names. I, I tuned out for a second. In deep North American woodlands. Poison oak has many different names and places of origin. Also referred to as the tree of heaven. Imagine that. In China and Taiwan, one of these invasive species made its way to America in the 1700s and took its ground here boldly. As many of us know, it's infamous. That sounds right about poison oak, but they call it the Tree of Heaven. During one of the interlude segments, an anomalous broadcast would hijack the program. This broadcast depicted videos of a red, quote, melted face that spoke to the viewer in a warm yet deeply disconcerting voice. Oh. Do you have a Discord server? Will you have one? No, I will not. Just because I, I never use it. Uh, I never use Discord. And um, all that it seems to be now as an outsider looking in is a place where like t stupid people uh, get themselves into trouble. Or where people go to like groom people. <laughs> so I'm not interested. Thank you very much, Connor. Appreciate it. What's the line... For you with religious content becoming disrespectful in ARGs and video games. It's not like it's not like I have a line somewhere where I'm like, this is my hard cutoff. It's just like if it feels fun. Like, I have no problem with them putting Psalms 1091 in the ARG as a horror thing. Doesn't like who cares? But it's an extra step for me to use scripture. Like earlier when I was writing down the answers to the uh the uh the gray lock episode it's like ooh, i'm doing the creepy thing as part of the video i'm not going to do the creepy thing you know as scripture right so uh it, like 
it, it's a pretty staunch line when it comes to me myself doing it when it's depicted in other media really as long as it's as long as it's not root like trying to disgrace or make fun of the office of christ i guess uh i don't know it, it's not a hard line it's just kind of like i can see it and tell you if it is or it ain't pretty much um i appreciate that i'm glad you like the blood and radiant video it means a lot you gotta check out the Ekvante marble hornets people i've seen marble hornets if that's what you mean Thought about making a video about it a while back. I don't know why I didn't, actually. The space and its properties will be hereby referred to as Fin228. Fin228 spoke clips of footage and even the camera feed monitoring hospitals and bedrooms would be occasionally overlaid on the screen, obscuring Fin228's face. Okay. <laughs> The most remembered Finn 228 speaking English, multiple non English speaking viewers remembered understanding every word that was spoken. Ah, oh, that's creepy. Following clips are restored recording the novel's broadcast. The duration of the clip has been shortened. The audio has been muffled, reversed, and dampened. These alterations are absolutely necessary to suppress the hazardous attributes as effectively as possible. For maximum safety, watch this blue light glasses and insert your earplugs. Muffled revert. I don't want to reverse a video. <laughs> That's so much. Someone just tell me what he says after we watch it. Because I don't. Yeah. Still playing making video of Lucid Dreaming. Um, yeah. Yeah. But I want it to be more than just Lucid Dreaming. I have an idea for it. We'll see when it happens. Oh. Oh, I don't I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't like that. The idea of just seeing it above your bed like that. Ooh. Uh, uh. Cause it's a perfect, it's a perfect kind of face that you would imagine in the dark, right? Like that's the kind of face that like you see. Oh, I don't like that at all. Ha. Okay, gosh, that was, that was pretty... All right, you got me a little bit. Not gonna lie, <laughs> the image above the bed gave me like spook a little bit. But you know what? You know what? We're stronger. We're better. Uh, Tales from the gas station. I would like to do that for Creepcast. What's your go-to translation? KJV. Uh, Wendigoon. I want to know what the first Creepcast video is. So I need to go back to wait. Wendigoon. I want you to know. Oh, that the first Creepcast video. So me to go back to college and pursue a career in the game Warden Surface. Oh, that's that's very cool, Patrick. Awesome, awesome. Good luck on that. Wendigoon, have you read the Space Trilogy? I've not. Um, all right. I like no, I don't want to reverse. Someone just tell me what the reverse audio says. No, I can't just reverse audio magically. I have to like drag it into an editor. You're you like reverse the audio. I'm a, I'm a stupid YouTuber. I don't know anything. Someone tell me what the reversed audio is. Thank you. The very memory of my face will cause a manifestation of my being in the future. Dang it. Guys. No, not this BS. If you see it, if just remembering its face will cause it to show up later. I hate it. I hate it. Someone... <laughs> Someone... Over a chat, someone said, "Reverse it, white boy." <laughs> That's so funny. It's, it's like the Craig thing when Ranger Craig is talking. I sit my white ass down and listen. I haven't seen the Revenant tapes. Um. Uh, someone, someone else has something. Do you consider playing Darkwood someday? Yeah, I would at some point. Apparently people like it. Do not forget the Simeodine account. Oh yeah, that's right. 
I want to make a video about Ready or Not, actually. I'll probably watch Winter of 83 at some point in the future. Rolling Windagoon. Wait, someone made a Rolling Windagoon? Nuh uh. Oh my gosh, they did. Okay. okay. After after we get through, okay. we'll close out the stream on that. How's that sound? Oh wait, we didn't finish reading. Y'all got me so tripped up. I didn't finish reading the reverse. The memory of my face will cause a manifestation might be in the future. You will be asleep in bed. I hate this VS because <laughs> I think about it at three in the morning. I will be there and watch over you. When you wake, you will not be able to move any part of you. When the doctors eventually find you, they will not see me, but you will. And I'll see you too. Forever. I'll see you. All right, well, I hate that. <sighs> Broadcast 813 was viewed by roughly 530 residents throughout southern Pennsylvania and upon viewing left many several left many severely distraught. Aside from the discomfort and paranoia, Finn 228's television presence had brought to the viewers there were other side effects that were highly unnatural. Thank you for the 50 James. You don't need to do that, but thank you. I love your stuff. Would you please watch Angel here? They did an animation of me. Really? The people who did Angel Hair? I've had it pulled up a second ago. I haven't watched it yet, but, uh... What? No, they didn't. Y'all keep getting me distracted, but apparently there's... I mean, how do I not look up? Okay. Why do I put in Angel Hair and Windigoon? If it's East Patch. Maybe the, maybe the animation's on YouTube. Maybe it's on Twitter or something like that. Yeah, who knows? Okay, th thank you. <laughs> Stop saying white boy. <laughs> Watch Angel Hair, white boy. <laughs> Love you, but thank you. Panic ping, appreciate it. Who am I? We're watching. We are watching. Look, kids, you wanted you wanted boiled one. You're getting boiled one right now. Okay, all right. When you when when this is done, we can talk about what comes next. All right. When's the next creep cast? This weekend. Many viewers report not being able to keep the image of Finn's out of their minds. Some even continue to hear its voice days after viewing. That's great. Touch. Appreciate that, Fufu. Thank you, thank you. A victim who requested to remain anonymous claimed that the face was living in his brain and feeding on his spine. <laughs> Another described trumpets playing in their ears before they fell asleep. The trumpet's saying scary because that has to do with like a lot of religious imagery and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. You know what? You know what I need? I haven't been to a mall in a while. I need more consumerism. I should go to a mall. That's a good suggestion. None of these people knew that this was only the beginning. The beginning of a whole new species of suffering that would never be fully understood. August 14th, 2003. The Great Northeast Blackout of 2003. After the anomalous frequency is detected by television... Man, these go by fast. After the anomalous fear was detected by television station Troubleshooters, the NERC was ordered by the Afrata branch to have all power grids local to the state of Pennsylvania disabled by 4 p.m. to prevent further escalation of the anomaly and the public knowledge of Broadcast 813. Interesting. Oh, thank you, James. It's in their shorts. Hold on. Let me, just so I have it pulled up. Oh, yeah, look, that's me. Aw, that's cute. Okay, we'll go. One thing at a time, boiled one. The outage ultimately spread to various parts of New York, New Jersey. <laughs> so fast. New York, New Jersey, Ohio, and even Canada as well. Are you faster, white boy? <laughs> Shut up. Stop with the white Thoughts on analyzing the themes of Gnosticism and Genshin Impact. 
Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just no. Nightmare Creature over me at 3 a.m. You got games on your phone? Oh, remind me to show you. I don't know if you all have seen. Oh, wait. If, never mind. You all did hear a lot of if you were here for the Kane Pixel stream. I was going to say, I uh, Kane made me music that I was going to start using in videos, but you all have already seen it. 50 million people were without power. During the confusion caused by the Azure Traces broadcast were collected by the front of range seemingly white from existence. Only news articles in the works from the morning after the broadcast, internet post recordings, and more. Yeah, it was jazz, Keva. The cause of the blackout was promptly covered up and claimed to have been a combination of human error and the result of trees falling onto sagging power lines somewhere in Cleveland, Ohio. That does happen a lot. Like, trees will fall on power lines and break them. Yes, Midwest Angelica, we're all familiar with the, the the number of things you all are like, oh, you have to watch this next. I can't watch all of them right now. Any thoughts on the Sabbath? Any thoughts on the Sabbath being Saturday versus Sunday? Do the Catholics change it back in the day? Um, the Catholics didn't change it. Christ changed it because he said, after the resurrection, you celebrate on the same day the resurrection happened. You give your first fruits of the week to him. Because we're no longer the Sabbath of the old law, we're the Sabbath of the new law. That's why Judaism still celebrates it on Saturday, but Christians do it on Sunday. Um, join me in the spa. Thank you, Trevor. New one again. I have not read. I know C.S. Lewis has a bunch of stuff that apparently I would like, but I have not read it. But the damage had been done. Make more content, Iceberg Boy. Aftermath. 12 days after the broadcast date went through, it was blocked from the air. Historically massive influx of pseudocoma occurred throughout the state of Pennsylvania, leaving 509 people affected and many families in shock. Caucasian man. Okay, thank you, Mr. Pseudocoma is an extremely rare condition in which a patient experiences. Stop! <laughs> a cerebromedulospinal disconnection, leaving them to be conscious but unable to move or communicate verbally due to complete paralysis of all voluntary muscles in the body except for vertical eye movements and blinking. So it trapped them in basically a state of mind. Schedule stream. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, man. Uh, thank you very much, Renazi. I want to do more stuff with the second channel. I know I always say that, but like last time I said that I started the podcast and that took a lot of time to get started. But now that started, I would like to reliably do one or two streams a week and then make those into videos on the second channel. Cause it's fun and you know, it's easy work on my end. I just do a live stream, send it to an editor and I'm done. Um, so I don't know, maybe, but it just depends. It can't, it can't be Monday or Tuesdays cause that's when I record the podcast. But other than that. This anomalous outbreak of such a rare condition was regarded as a spectacle by the U.S. Department of Health and was put under government investigation immediately. Any chance you could get the Aidens in touch with the unsub guys? I think they get along and be an so Yeah, if they're available. Yeah, I think I probably could. Please consider checking out Luca Big Pants. Okay. One thing in common with all these cases is that patients have been at home watching TV the night the broadcast was aired. Yeah, so they saw... Okay, I see it. I saw that. I saw that. See his face pulling up, and then there's a flash. I get what is that him peeking around? Though the victims of this outbreak were unable to speak, they were able to communicate through Morse code by blinking. More than 60 victims were interviewed. Did they learn Morse code while they were sitting there, I guess? Many of these interviews held unavailing results and often led to more questions and many others held results that required archival determination. Interesting. However, you should make an energy about when to get into the law, when to get except it breaks in your house and you to <laughs> Yeah. Fairly late in the investigation, the Ephrata branch was notified of a particularly odd case revolving around one Job Zamperini, an elderly victim of the anomalous pseudocoma outbreak. Job Zamperini specifically request <laughs> requested his alias to be used in the future records instead of his real name, which will remain classified, okay? 
Any tips for someone who wasn't raised in religion but as an adult now wants to learn? I had something happen to me that solidified my belief. Very cool, Cheyenne. Um, yeah, I, the, the, uh, see, it's it's harder with kids because you can't be like, oh, go read and stuff like that. You kind of have to be the, the mentor for a lot of it. But the bi- the best suggestion I can give you is just to read the Bible. Um, start with the book of John. That's the best place, I think, for early Christians or believers. And then I would read the Gospels, and then I would continue from there through the New Testament. Old Testament's interesting, but the New Testament's the part that applies to Christians. Um, yeah, I'd start with John. I think that's the best thing you could do, and congratulations. Could you say this to my girlfriend? We'll get off my back. Jimmy did not put the TV remote in the microwave. Stop blaming him. Got you. Uh, not Analog Horlea, but have you played or have any thoughts on the game Cult of the Lamb? I've heard of it, but I, I don't know anything about it. You should check out how cool you are for watching sharing fun art with the boys. You should check out how cool you are. Oh, is that me? Oh, you're saying me. Oh, that's the sweetest thing ever. Everyone's telling me to check stuff out. You're like, you should check out how cool you are. That means a lot, Noise. Thank you. That's the kindest. I'm hearting that. It's the, one, it's the nicest one I've got today. Joe Mama was 50. You do not have to do that, man. Please don't, but thank you. I have a friend who's atheist who says he dislikes the concept of God because of hell itself. He thinks that no one deserves to suffer for all eternity, even someone like Hitler. He says it's too cruel for an all-loving God. Thoughts? I mean, that's a big question, but a short version is God created us. We chose to separate ourselves from God. God does not force us to come back to him. We can choose to come back to him. And if we don't choose to come back to him, then we fall in line with everyone else that has chosen to stay away from God, Satan, the the devil, whatever you want to call him. So it's not that God creates hell and then flicks us in there constantly because he hates us. It's that none of us are disturbing for the love he originally gave to us, but we have the choice to come back to it. If we do not choose to come back to it, then we go to everything else that was rejected, everything else that chose to reject God, including Lucifer. So... Yeah, that's what I'd say. It's not, it's not, it's not God's love that puts us there. It's our rejection of that love. Have you heard of angel hair? Oh my God. <laughs> the, the, the number of times I've heard angel hair. I'm just punishing you for turning super spec on. Ray, do not give me money. You're too kind already. Please don't. But thank you, Ray. That's very kind. But also, I hate you. We should have Bible study night with Wintagoon. <laughs> that means a lot. Thank you. Um... Have you heard of Kelly hitting metal 17 times every day? What? <laughs> hitting metal 17. This, y'all are messing with me. Heads that died as soon as you start explaining your stance on the hell question. I thought it was a very funny bit. <laughs> Thank you for that. Someone just called me Mayonnaise Boy. Zamperini was a war vet and flew in a Morse code, putting him on the mark as a potential interviewee as soon as the outbreak was put under investigation. Okay. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Like that is how you want me to tell your girlfriend to wake up. After a very odd photo was taken in his backyard by his visiting grandson, the family became deeply troubled and convinced his house was haunted. Jeez, I wonder what the face is going to be. This led them to contact a local priest in hopes they'd be sealed. The following photos were picked, standing next to the small playhouse in San Fernando's backyard. The fu- Man, these texts go by fast. Uh, yes, there will be more plat- platypus noise. The photo itself has proved to be non-hazardous and safe to view, though still anomalous in nature. We're going to view, wear blue glasses and view from just three feet or more. No. Yes, thank you, Vito. Oh! <laughs> I thought it was going to be like... You could kind of see him off in the corner window of the uh, the house, but no, it's just like a full size. <laughs> That's funny. Zamperini claimed something horrible and unholy was with him and would hurt him and possibly others described it and what it was telling him. Fun fact. So the upside down cross is always depicted as a symbol of uh, Satanism or satanic presence or something like that. Uh, it's actually not originally. It's called the, P- the Peterushian Petrucian, whatever, but it's based on Peter 
So when Peter, when Peter was executed, they asked if he had anything to say, and he said he did not deserve to die as his Lord died. So he asked to be crucified upside down. So for a long time in the church, the symbol of martyrdom was the upside down cross, that we are not as Christ, but we are in some small way. So the symbol of the upside down cross was a symbol of Christian martyrs. And then like paganism adopted it hundreds of years later because everything, not sorry, not paganism, Satanism adopted it years later because all satanic stuff is is just an inversion of whatever god did uh so they're like haha and what if instead of peter it's actually the devil for some reason so yeah but originally the this was actually a christian symbol the upside down cross um have a bone to pick for introduce me a blood and and you're welcome daniel yeah i like to mentally damage everyone who talks to me that means a lot joe mom thank you uh and unrelated say thank you I appreciate that, Kirhawk. Thank you. I'm glad a lot of people like that Easter message. The following is a recovered, previously archived, recording in which Officer T. Gomez of the Afrata branch interviews Joe Zamperini. Hello, Mr. I'm Officer Gomez. I hope you're doing well today. This is the most old people in the South. Do you I mind if I ask you a few questions regarding your condition ever. and possibly um, unholiness within your home that your family had? Just reminds me, speaking of wise old people, I had a man tell me one of the smartest things I've ever heard a while back, and I wanted to mention this on stream at some point. So I was in line at a grocery store. This was like... Um, I had gotten Kayla some Valentine's Day stuff. Oh, it was the flowers. I wanted to get flowers day of so they didn't go bad and I didn't have to hide them. So she was at work on Valentine's Day on the day. And I go to uh, a local store to get some, uh, some big flowers. And I'm standing in line at the checkout. And behind me is another guy um, who is also holding all these flowers. And he's an older man. He's got like kind of wide in his beard. Um, he, he, he like, if I remember right, he had like a cane or something. Um, he was, he was an old black man who had like, I think he, he kind of gave me the vibe that he was a veteran. Like he'd seen some stuff. Like he has experiences and wisdom far beyond anything that I do. Right. So I'm standing there with my flowers and he's standing there with his flowers. And I point at him, I go, Oh, look, it looks like you're in the same boat that I'm in. And he looks at me and he goes, yep, but at least we're in the boat. And, I, and ever since he said that, I have not quit thinking about that. Like every, anytime there's remotely the tiniest problem, like in, in like relationships or with, with the missus or anything, I just say to myself, at least I'm in the boat. Right. I spent years trying to get in the boat and now I'm in it. So I best not be complaining about it. Um, at least I'm in the boat. Yep. <laughs> like, I think that was God. <laughs> I think I spoke to him for a second, <laughs> but no, uh, that, yeah, I, I just think about that a lot. Yeah. Um, that's $2 super chat. Pedo one on earth. Okay. Uh, finally got baptized Sunday. Congratulations. Uh, do you think the story of Balaam inspired Shrek? <laughs> Potentially. Um, man spoke to Morgan Freeman. That's what, that's what it felt like. Yeah. Yeah. Peak. Anyway. I'd mention. Okay, Ask. first and uh, foremost, did you know Wait, that? Oh, 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 the bottom's what possibly, he's saying. Um, unholiness within your home that your family had mentioned. We need, we need to focus. I mean, that was cool. I need to bring that up. But we do need to focus on this. I love, I haven't read Metro. I love the games. <laughs> Excuse me. Enjoyed writing this much. Yeah, most of the time, peanut butter operator, most of the times people really enjoy writing. They're just forced to do stupid stuff with it in school. Same with history or any other subject. There's there's a lot of passion and interest in the world that gets like ground out by things like that. But yeah, glad you enjoy it. 
What about the inverted pentagram? Does that mean anything? Also, why are they addressed? There's a lot of theories about where the inverted pentagram started. I think it originally came around the time the goat's head popped up at paganism and stuff like that. But there is some, unlike the upside down cross, there is some symbolism linking the pentagram to actual demonology. Like uh, the star is used as an inversion of God, which is really what the demons are. But also uh, there's symbolism tying it to the goat's head like with the horn and the ears and stuff like that and goats kind of are sort of used as demonic symbolism in the bible or at least the unclean so to speak so you know okay, see? First okay hold on. do you see this right here hold on. Hello, See Mr. this thing peeking over the bed, I'm these spikes? I guarantee you. I hope you're doing well today. That is, um, it's going to be Finn. Pops up. Matt said, have you read the Testament of Solomon? I assume you're talking about the lesser key of Solomon. I'm familiar with it. I haven't read it because the book does freak me out a little bit. <laughs> if I'm being honest, it does scare me slightly. Um, I've heard about that PTSD radio. Apparently people like it. But yeah, the, um, uh, Lester Key of Solomon freaks me out a bit, but I do think there's at least some truth there. Those who seek, uh, those who seek strange spirits often find them, is the way I look at it. Um, parodies accounts. Oh, I see. Okay, I got you. Thank you, Ted Kaczynski. For do you mind lecture. if I ask you a few questions regarding your condition? Oh, is it? And is, possibly... If you're, are you talking about the wisdom of Solomon? Because I've read Song of Solomon... And uh, Ecclesiastes, which were both written by him in the in the in the Protestant Christian Bible. There's also the Wisdom of Solomon that's in the Catholic Bible. Uh, I'm not sure about anything other than that. Thank you for making horror stuff easier for me to watch. I appreciate that, Daniel. Thank you. Um, unholiness within your home that your family had mentioned. Ask. Okay, okay, so the words of the Bible. First what and uh, foremost, did you notice any onset symptoms before you lost complete mobility oh, of your true. body? Yeah. Face, huh? There was a face. Hmm. When did you begin I'm seeing familiar with the face? 12 tribes stuff. Interesting. Many of the hmm. people who have I do want to make seen the broadcast video. that you saw on August the 13th Went to games. described having vivid and upsetting hallucinations. Do you think this is something your brain has created? Can you please describe It is in the window, oh no. Hmm. Horribly burnt I, uh, out of I still don't yeah. see it. Have you been having any hallucination aside from the face? I'm sorry to hear that. Are these screams constant? Hold on. I'm sorry to hear that. I hear screaming of many voices. Hold that question. Are these screams Bye, constant? Champ. A night before sleep, I hear... Screams Hold on. constant? I hear trumpets, too. Okay. Fine, fine, I'll do it. I'll, I'll type this into a Morse code translator. <sighs> Not because I care about you all. Um, do you think the Old Testament past the Torah is still doctrine for Christians? None of the Old Testament is doctrine, per se, because the old law was done away with with the death of Christ. It is correct history and reasoning for why Christ was needed, so it's still important, of course, but it's not like... It's not like we read the Old Testament where it's like, uh, you can't eat shellfish, no, don't wear mixed fabric, stuff like that, kill your enemies immediately. That doesn't apply anymore. Um, so it's none of the Old Testament's doctrinally, but past, you know, you know like the, the Old Testament stuff besides that is still valuable, even if we don't live by it. The Simeodine account, okay, fine, I'll put in the Simeodine account. I have to eat at some point, you know. Simeodine USA. Um, all right, I have it pulled up now, so I won't forget it. Look, look, prove it, prove it. Simeodine accounts going up here with the others. Okay. Okay. All right, let me type this. Type this into the internet because that's what you are right now. Look at what? 
Look at the sign, white boy. Oh, it did change. I can see you. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. Senior so working from home, holding my uh, three month old and watching Wendigan live stream. Let's get congratulations, Richard. Happy to hear that, man. God bless you and your family. All right, Morse code translator. Uh, first time donating, but I think you should watch Death of Hope. It's a series. Cool. I pre okay. Appreciate that. Thank you for the twenty. Deep sleep. Stalker films coming along well. I don't know. I know when it's supposed to be finished now. I don't know if I'm supposed to announce yet, but I'll say before year end. Well, that's a bit too vague. I'll say <coughs> before fall. Before fall. Yeah. Yeah, I can say that, I think. Um, all right. But it's going well. Just post-production stuff. All right. Let me try. So how do I do this? I do dashes... Type text of Morse code using, okay, I'll pull it over here so you can see what I'm doing. Type text of Morse code use, gosh, ads. Stop. No. <laughs> I just want to type it in. Type text of Morse code using that, that, using spaces between letters and that between words. I've put spaces between letters. No, I'm just going to go period. No, wait. Wait, one, two, three. Hold on. Yes, okay. I'm locked in right now. I think that's it nobody but me and you okay all right and that was in response to what question let's do that hold on congrats on getting your wisdom teeth removed i'm getting mine removed in like two weeks so i can't wait for that misery uh church yeah i'll do a history of church video eventually i'm still working on the cod zombies video yes okay i'm going to Turn off Super Chats for a minute because you guys are spamming them and I feel bad. So, if I don't read them. Uh, let's look at... I want to watch this over from okay. not the beginning, but he's asking questions about the face he saw. Interesting. Many of the people who have seen the broadcast Very cool, that you Johnny. saw That's on awesome. August the 13th that, described the having vivid and upsetting hallucinations. Do you think this is something your brain has created? in the window. Can you please describe this face to me? Yes. Right, right. Hmm. I, uh, I still don't see it. Have you been having any hallucination aside from the face? I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm Are sorry these screams screen. constant? Okay, he says, are these screams constant? Constant? Hold on. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Are these screams constant? At night before sleep, I hear trumpets too. And then before he can say anything, he says, nobody but me and you. And then this. Thank you. You shedding light on this is helping more than you know. Oh, I think that's his override. Okay, I see. I think the old man said, God's with me. And as he said it, Finn cut him off and said, it's nobody but me and you. Or like, God's not here. Okay. Thank you. 
you shedding light on this is helping more than you know. It's okay, just a glitch. Actually, it looks like clouds. That's the image we saw in the community post. Okay, there he comes. Yeah, there he is. Yippee! Yippee! Woohoo! Yippee! Wonderful day, the miracle of birth. A fetal fanfare. Listen closely. Do you hear it? You will hear the laughter of thousands as the sky opens up. You will hear the trumpets play their happy sound. The scalding blood of life will pour down onto us all. Together, we will be still. Together, a feast of birthday. Together, melded by love and purest connection. Be still. If you can see the screen, it means it is not safe to continue viewing. The program will end shortly. Okay, two, two, eight. Continue during the introduction portion of this video immediately. What was the procedures? Oh, you're supposed to read the verse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That was good. That was good. I enjoyed it. That was solid. Cool. Sick. All right. So after that, we have one more. The Boy in the Bath. What could possibly go wrong? Short film about guilt. Fireman's unclean from the trails of yesterday. That was Morse code at the end, wasn't it? But I don't know how to... I don't read Morse code, so I don't know how to... <laughs> okay. I, I can't... Can someone just translate it for me, please? Can someone do the work for me? Urge to speak in case anyone was wondering. The text in red says, nobody but me and you. Can someone do the ending? The Japanese text says, fear of the one and only Watanabe bird. Okay. It's a reference to a war criminal. Uh, okay, whatever. I'm not you're not getting it. Is that what it says? It says I still see you. Okay. It says I still see you. Got it. Got it. Thank you. He still sees us even though we're doing all the stuff. I see. Got it. Alright, so now on to this. No, not this. Where where did it go? Where oh wait, we went we went here. Okay. <laughs> It's this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Body remains unclean from the toils of yesterday. You are in no condition to sleep like this. Shower will make you better. If I'm in bed, I'm not getting up to shower. What are you talking about? I like the point and click style, that's fun. But it wasn't my fault. You have to let me go with the crash, wasn't your fault. Oh. Oh, that's lovely. Why?
Interesting. I like it. I don't think that's related to uh, <clears throat> the the series that's been going on. Honestly, I don't even know if that's related to Toe. It's kind of like the Boiled One phenomenon is its own thing. But it's pretty. It's good. I like it. I think it's fun. Um, Thumper, so many names. Next episode of Toe soon. Been writing and storyboarding. Organator. Uh, I think it's cheesy. It's called The Locust. Okay. 20k. This is the, the scene we see at the end. That must be... That's when the sky opened up, right? And then... Can I? And the sky will open up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a uh for the coming. So like the sky opens up, the things are burst for it, as he said. That was good. I liked it. I thought it was fun. I enjoy it. Very cool. Doctor Nowhere will be tuned in for more. Um. Oh, has White Stag Education done anything? No more Ranger Craig, sadly. Soon, hopefully. I like White Stack. It's pretty good. Um, all right. What else do we have? Angel hair is probably long for now. Because how long? They're like, sure, they're short, but there's 24 of them. Some are several minutes. Yeah. So I'm going to, here, here's what we're going to do. I do everything with sticky notes. I'm going to begin to write down ones that are on the docket. Angel hair, right? Uh, what's his face? Ted's caving journal. For sure. Those two for sure. To do in like future streams over the next few weeks. Um... Have you seen the ugly ducking duckling? I don't think I have. The man in the suit. Oh, that's the one I was thinking we might actually be able to watch today because it's short. We'll we'll end on this and then we'll watch Rolling Wind again. Um, yeah, those will be our last two. Man in the suit and uh, yeah, and also checking out this Twitter account. Um, Midwest Angelica, yes. Angelica. I've already done. I've already done Woodlands National Park. Unless is there a new episode? I think I'm caught up. Pretty sure. Yes. Yeah, I'm caught up. Uh. Oh, uh, winter of 83. Basswood County, you said? Oh, that looks like something I'd watch. Um, is this all set within Basswood County? Yeah, Dark Mind. Okay.
Could be cool. I see some some of the stuff I don't like <laughs> right away. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll write down Basswood County. And then also uh, a standing Vintage 8. They're the guys who do like Tangy Virus and stuff like that. I think it's all interconnected too. So I like their stuff. Uh, Boys Vert. That's the other one I was trying to think of. All right. I think that's, I think it's a good list for now. I think that's a pretty good list for now. Cool. All right. So I want to watch, um, well, let's go through Simeodine next. Why not see what that has in store? There's no ethics committee. Well, I've heard of that before. Isn't that, um, it's an SCP thing, right? Well, I know the ethics committee is, but the, there is no ethics committee as an SCP series, right? I think I heard some people talking about it. Well, there's no ethical business under capitalism. That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> I already wa we watched wild tapes on stream. Um, is that there is no anti memetics division? the whole show okay interesting all right well i'll, <laughs> I'll write that down too actually i won't because i'll sub to it i'll remember um oh yeah i've got i'm sub to all these guys does anyone have anything no i don't think so no, I don't think so. It's Fortress Films. Oh, yeah, the TF guys. There was um one channel a buddy of mine showed me. What was it called? Uh, Triple Tap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are these underrated guys making shorts. You should go check them out. Um, I'm subscribed on the main channel, but they do really good stuff. I watched their Hanson vs. Predator. It's like insanely high budget like guys just making short films like oh okay this is the only one i've seen but so far i haven't seen the other two uh okay like it's like do you see how well done that effect is for like like look at that It is insane the levels of detail people get to. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's a practical effect. It's absurd. Yeah, I'll watch, I'll watch them sometime on stream. Actually, I do want to make them a priority. I'll, I'll open up, like, next stream with them, because, like I said, they do good stuff. Where I just set down my post-it note of all the names. But go sub to them. Triple tap's good. Where did I put, did I eat it? Where did it go? Here it is. Lord. Yeah, it goes up to triple tap. What you, Mr. Manicore, like I haven't seen the Monument Mythos, please get out of here. Uh, all right. Yeah, okay, I think we're good there. So let's check out this. They only have 20 posts, so. Consumers all over the globe knew Simeodyne didn't just mean the most quality, but the most affordable. Simeodyne worked tirelessly with the U.S. government to assure that all citizens had access to technology they need to get assistance and remain informed. Oh, let me follow real quick. Um, for telephones, television, Simeodyne wanted their products in your home. 
National Access Initiative began in 63 between the Johnson's administration and Simeon Don. Truly, we value Georgia's one as a team player, blah, blah, blah. Dangerous conspiracy theories spreading lies and misinformation attacked Simeo Dine, suggesting that the National Access Initiative was a mass surveillance operation. Um, it was. In September 7th today, and on this day, we remember the number of lives lost that occurred during one of Simeo Dine's Scotland operations. This is new, right? We haven't heard anything about that. We will always remember the number. We sacrifice for the number. Oh. September 7th tomorrow, and on that day, we remember the number. Okay. Huh. What? It looks like a giant Cthulhu looking thing. It almost looks like this is a head. These are like tentacles coming, or maybe those are tubes. Like these are tubes feed into some egg looking thing. What the heck? Okay. Just out. All right. I'm feeling down and out. Are you depressed? Think about this. Be thankful it hasn't happened here yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We'd like to apologize for the interruption and post. We're addressing the issue. We have addressed the issue. Former city on USA social media manager Derek has been relieved of duty. Please say hello to our new CMO manager, Jacob. Thank you for your compliance and understanding. Maybe there are tweets that got deleted. Reminded all staff, entities show signs of independent intelligence must be reported to an active supervisor immediately upon discovery. Remember what happened to Henry from containment. <laughs> Don't become a Henry. Notice posted. Seraphim's... That's new. Seraphim syndrome? Seraphim syndrome is real and it's deadly. Now we're getting into my territory with... <laughs> Remember, while an entity may appear as an angel, this is this is only its outward appearance. Those entities hold no hidden knowledge and cannot speak into your mind or influence your thoughts. Maintain your grasp on reality. What the heck? What, okay. If you feel your connection to reality has been compromised by an entity, you must report to an on-duty supervisor immediately for psychiatric assessment of potential deep programming protocols. What? What do you mean, Seraphim Syndrome? We haven't seen those yet, right? Have you slept this week? The rumors circulating about cognogenesis causing severe and potentially fatal neuropsychological trauma are false. Any personnel found disseminating such information will be subject to compulsory or debriefing. Hysterication. Thank you. Don't ma uh, You think it's long over, but it's not. It's only just the beginning. It's been going for a long time. Sure, the end has come. It's come for many times, many more times still. It's unaccountable. It's unknowable, but we're all trapped within it. Don't make the mistake of thinking it's a cycle. It's not. It's everything. Boundless and absolute. Always and everywhere. We're all plugged into it. Some try to ignore it, but all the attachment. Others chase it. The thing you remember is that you're never free from it. Okay? Notice to all staff, all husks must undergo complete cerebral... Sudi confirmation prior to transport. Recent incidents necessitate increased vigilance. Just because it's motionless doesn't mean it's mindless. That has to be in reference to the bodies, right? Of maybe people who like to use the machine. I don't know. Don't forget to initiate hemispheric brainwave synchronization. Have you ever experienced a lucid dream? Disclaimer, your answer will be logged and used to shape your individual professional trajectory. Incorrect input may have hazardous future. My neighbor's family was strangled to death on the Appalachian Trail. Gosh, this account, this is wild. I'm not going to try to figure out what Seraphim Syndrome and all that stuff is. I know it's weird. I know it's creepy. Uh, and then there's a picture of Mount Greylock for the banner. Man, I love, I love Greylock so much. It's so good. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's do, well, actually, this may be kind of long. No, we, we can do it. We can power through. Right. of course it's in japanese all right thank you godzilla may be a monster but it seems different to me he is rather a god control our world according to each other and i'll be the meat of the beast i will be the host of godzilla because i want to be a god who is respected by people i want to be the meat of this beast the fear of which one is wrong i'm not a movie monster it's goji the law of good and evil i will live in the beast because he's the only one who can help us. There is no God, just me. All right.
Let us begin. Oh, unknowingly was here earlier. I didn't see that. Cool, cool. I haven't seen any of this before. I've heard good things about it, but I haven't seen it. The old Godzilla movies were always a little bit unsettling, like the, uh, the man in the suit, you know? That whole idea was always a little creepy. When did the shirts get sent out? They should be getting sent out soon. Probably within the next month. I know the U2s are getting delivered right now. U2s take a while. They have to go through a whole casting process. The person in the Gojira suit was unknown at the time. The story the actor has with Gojira is odd. This is a photo of him in the suit. Okay. Here's another picture. Got the acting job of being and wearing the Gorgia suit. Gorgia, sorry. I saw that flash. I can't, I don't know how to take <laughs> Japanese letters. It's a, some, please, someone in the description, save me. Someone in the description. Um, Okay, I'm not trying to type all that in. <laughs> Said Jeff, I can't do it. I do. I translated that. And the actor fell in love with it. He would wear the suit most of the time to the point that you never saw his actual face. Okay, interesting. So yeah, so for those who don't know, during the original. Um, Google Translate has an image feature. Are you serious? I didn't know you could do that. So for those that don't know, the way the OG uh, Godzilla films worked is it was literally just like they would build these tiny towns and then a man in a Godzilla, Godzilla suit would walk through and like just destroy the towns and stuff like that. And that's how they filmed it. Um, okay, we'll try it. Google. Oh, wait, I bet my phone can do it. You're right. That'll be easier than screenshotting. Google Translate Image. Yeah, okay, wow. Let's take a picture of that. Okay. Man, the future really is now. Photo library. Pretty cool. Translating. Wow. It overlaid it where the text was too. That's so weird. Okay. Godzilla may be a monster, but I wonder if it's natural for me to be, to be, and to be in the body of this gigantic beast so I can be one with him. I imagine that's the actor talking about the suit. That's so weird. Man, that has me more freaked out than anything else. The Tower of Babel undone. Rot useless. You just wear the suit. The suit would sometimes heat up, but he didn't care. Ooh. 
It was like if he was addicted to the suit, like if it was calling his name. It's gotten to the point where he brings the suit home even though we tell him not to. He wouldn't really speak a lot, but he would say that his name is Goji, basically the nickname we gave the suit. The last time he was seen on set, he was acting in the suit until he just stopped. This is the photo that was taken. Several minutes later, he would start to walk and stop yet again. His breathing was muffled, yet he was also breathing oddly. The director thought this was a joke, poking at him to get back in place, but he wouldn't budge. After two odd minutes of oddly breathing, he would tell people to check on him and to make sure he takes off the suit. This was a photo someone took before the person on the right side was inside. man opened the costume to see that he was growing into the suit. His flesh would slowly rip away as he tried to open the pocket where actors would enter the suit from here. The suit is now skin, <laughs> y'all. That's good. Cool. <laughs> I like that. Somehow his body deformed to the point he was filling the inside of the suit. This is what they expected. Oh, is it now? Oh, they expect a person, I see what you're saying, they expect a person inside the suit. Instead, he looked more like... That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. He transforms into, uh, like... He fills out the inside of it. His face goes up and contorts to, like, the face of Godzilla on the inside. That's good. That's good. I like that. That's fun. All right. That's a banger first one. I like it. Uh, let's see. Do I want to... F you know what? I think, I think next time I'm going to watch these because I'm feeling a bit low energy right now and I want to give the because that was good that was good and enjoyable and i want to give it the attention it deserves so rather than like giving it a half done you know like oh oh that's fun that's cool i want to like give it its time so and write down man in suit i think we've watched a lot today and that is good teaser for you all to be here for the next one be sure to su subscribe and turn your notifications on because um I start these streams periodically and you'll have no warning beforehand and I refuse to give you one. So the last thing uh, to watch before we close out is Rolling Windagoon. All right. I've seen this before. If Charlie voiced it, it's like, I imagine this is what Rolling Windagoon will be. Ah! Did I jump scare you? Yeah, I bet I did. Hey! Uh, why are you chasing me? Uh, stop it! Get back here! So you can get away from me! Coward, you make me sick. Your weakness is pathetic. Those are pretty good. So let's let's see what Rolling Windagoon is. You better be strapped. <laughs> okay. 
Thank you for saying I make some good content. The endless bickering giant. Is that what I am? I bicker. The way he goes what every time the protagonist. <laughs> for some reason the part where he's. Okay. All right. We'll see how it goes. We'll just watch it first. All right. You better be strapped. <laughs> I scared the shit out of me. Wait, what? I can't help but imagine there was a moment in time where Gavrilo was walking out of the shop with like a subway sandwich in his hand and a gun in the other, and then the Archduke pulls up and parks directly. Statue. What? I hit the ass. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Happy Halloween. I'm leaving. We're gonna creep back each other's. Hey! Well, you are a very handsome man. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Alcala. You're, You're welcome, welcome, Mr. Mr. Alcala. <laughs> I've heard these used to be so much. Plows through the gra glass. That sign won't stop me because I can't read. You fucking get me. You, you can fucking get me. The automated wood chipper death machine 9000. <laughs> what do you want? Human skin. <laughs> Human skin. Oh. Out of the way, let's get started on the magical journey through the water cycle. As we like to call it, the aquatic version of Cosmic Metamorphosis. That's how it would feel if Cain fell off a railing and died. That's what he gets. That was hilarious. That was great. I'm so glad that exists. Man, like. The way it goes, what, every time the prank said something's brilliant. The part where he says, hello everybody, happy Halloween is some funny. Wait, which, that was funny. Right? <laughs> it was here, right? Hello everybody, happy Halloween. <laughs> That's really good. What do you want? Human skin. I have no idea when I said that. Could have been any video already. Something can't stop me. Uh, someone needs to show us to win again. Well, congratulations. Yeah, I'll give I give him a like. Yeah, it's pretty good. I watched a video of Win again freaking out of the Giants. Uh, let's see the slow turn. We are a very handsome man. All right, I'm glad everyone's on the same page. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Rolling iceberg boy. Thank ban that guy. Whoever this guy is, he's not allowed to watch my streams anymore. <laughs> Uh, good. some of you are probably in here. That was good. I enjoyed that. How many views does this have? 51,000, man. I mean, it's good. Deserves it. All right. Well, that was fun. <laughs> uh, go, go give him a like. Go show the video some support. All right. That was fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, I want to stream more again. Like I said, I'm not immediately pressing on stuff to do so yeah i'd like to continue streaming no clue when but like i said turn on notifications thank you all who donated today if i missed yours i apologize but it means the world and i greatly appreciate it um thank you all very much for sticking around 
uh, new content on the way. Both podcasts will be going up this weekend, so stay tuned for that. And is there anything else? No, I believe that should do it. I think. Oh, hold on, Matt said something. Um, thank you so much for the stream and all the nice things you said about Greylock. It means a lot. Also, I really want to send you something. That's awesome, Matt. Uh, do you have? Um, let's see if if you have a Twitter, DM me. Or you can do it from, if you have access to it, you can do it from the Simeo Dine account or something, so I see it. But DM me, uh, and I, I'd love to get in contact. That's how, that's very kind of you. I appreciate it. Love, I can't say enough good things about Greylock. Oh, wait, was that? Oh, Unknowingly, I'm back. What happened? Hi, Unknowingly. So I watched the first episode of Man in Suit. Loved it. It's fantastic. So, and I'm kind of low energy right now. So rather than watching the whole series and not giving it the attention it deserves. I really liked the first episode, so I want to watch the rest on stream later, but I enjoyed it. First episode was great. Can't wait to see the rest. All right. Well, without further ado, I believe that should do it for now, but I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you in